Alrighty, what is up everybody? His Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Today, I will be revisiting the Leopard 1 once again. One of my favorite tanks in tier 10. As of course you guys know, I absolutely adore the Leopard 1. And as you also probably know, in update 9.1, the tank was adjusted, gained alpha damage, got... Uh, gunpowder and reticle calibration so it's better than it ever was before so i hope you guys are excited for today's stream i will be trying to demonstrate how to most proficiently farm damage in the leopard one is it aggressive gameplay or is it passive gameplay we will discuss that shortly but first hello to everybody in chat i hope you guys are doing well welcome to the stream and having a great end to your weekend we got skip we got andy plague o5 victor def How's it going? Tennessee, Ominous, Coria, Corio, Andy Thompson, Nigel. How's it going, guys? Hope you are doing well. Welcome to the stream. To do please smash that like button. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. All right. So I have kind of titled today's stream. Should be aggressive or passive in the Leopard 1. And here's the thing. The Leopard 1 is really good. Like, really, really good in terms of its gun. It has 360 alpha. With rammer and double food, you're running just a hair under 3,800 damage per minute. You have incredibly good accuracy with your gunpowder, once again, and uh, reticle calibration. Like, you just do not miss. It's point and shoot. You have good mobility, you know, going 65 kilometers an hour and stuff like that. But you are also the most weakly armored tier 10 heavy tank with barely any armor anywhere you get he through the sides and rear by any tank you run against and you have a large profile that makes the leopard one both incredibly good and also quite difficult to play now i've put an interesting poll up on the channel asking y'all uh do you play the leopard one more aggressive or more passive about 35 percent said passive 65 percent aggressive glad to see that not everyone is sniping now the key to understanding the leopard one is being able to understand both aggressive and passive gameplay for this tank you want to understand how to play it aggressively how to play it passively and of course when you should adapt these two different styles or even combine them into a kind of passive aggressive play style that's what I'm going to try and do today's stream. I'm going to really try to explain when I'm playing this tank to try and farm as much damage as possible while getting those dubs because that's how I do things uh, if all goes well. Uh, why I'm playing it more aggressively or more passively in this situation. I'm going to try and keep that on my mind and relay that to you guys. And so without further ado, let's jump into the queue and get ready to hop right on in to some games. CJ, Florian, good to see you. Uh, Straight Riffin, how's it going? How's it going? Kevin, DJ Soap, how's it going? Welcome to today's stream. Hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, okay. So, it's Sunday. Okay, the mobile queue times are just way too long. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for super long. There we go. Sunday. So, that means I start classes a week from today. I'm going to try and reach that 30k sub mark before next weekend. Let's see if we can do it. If we do, we get the 10-hour stream. So, uh, if you have not yet subscribed and you enjoy my content, do please consider subscribing. It's very much appreciated. Okay, so, first game. Let's look at the enemy's lineup. They are overall quite heavy. They have a Mouse, a Kranwagen, a E100, a Jagdpanzer E100, but they do have some tanks of slight concern. So, the Sheridan of obviously will outspot me great view range. 113 is extremely fast. The Kran could head this way and the TDs could just sit back. So, what I'm going to do for now... And this is what I kind of like doing in my Leopard when I can help it, is maybe not overcommit just yet. I want to figure out where their team's going, but I don't want to pop all the way up towards A. And okay, someone's on B. That's already uh, signifying that they do have a tank split. And just have their whole team show up over here, because that's, well, how you die very fast. Now, what I'm going to try and do is sneakily spot up right through the top of the cap here. See if they have any TDs down this way. We're going to take a blind shot and pull back. Now, that obviously didn't hit, but if I get spotted, that tells me that I have tanks there. We are not spotted. Thus, their tanks cannot be in the immediate vicinity. They're probably both in the factory and kind of hanging out back. Hopefully, one of my allies gets A. I believe the 57 is going for A. Enemy team are going for the cap strategy here. 113 is in the open, but I don't know if I want to shoot just yet. Okay, they have a tank on D as well. All right, so enemy team going for the Giga Brain cap strat. You know, if we lose too many cap points here, we are in big, big trouble. There's the rear of the Yag, and boom. Quick shell, 384. Lovely alpha damage. He should not be able to spot me as the Jagdpanzer doesn't have great view range. And so, Jagdpanzer loses quite a few hit points. That's a good start. Now, 
The enemy team have a lot of cap supremacy over my team right now. My team is fairly split up. I do have a 60 TP coming in for support. We have this E100, 113, and mouse in the corner here. I think probably what I will need to do momentarily is start getting ready to hop in towards decap. This won't be optimal for farming damage, but we do need to start doing something about these caps or we're going to lose extraordinarily fast. So I just spotted up. I presume... They have a Sheridan around here. The Yeager, I do not believe, has shots on me just yet. I'm going to start off by getting this cap because if my team doesn't get these caps back, we're going to lose by default. I need someone to start capping B. Hopefully, the 60 GP starts capping B. If not, at least we can delay it with a double cap. And then I'm probably going to start pressuring the whole re and yeah, clear out their tank destroyers from behind. So we do have decap. That is mission accomplished. We have the Jaeger in the middle. We have this Kron right below me. And oh no, I can't quite shoot. Okay, I suck at shooting. Kron seems to be full sending it. I think I'm just going to push on in behind him. Let's pop our adrenaline so we get the maximum amount of DPM possible. One quick shot to the Kron, 338. I should be safe from the Sheridan. We're going to put another shot towards the Kron. Very nice. Sheridan is pulling on up behind me. So I got to get distracted from this Kron wagon for the time being. And start heading back for Mr. Sheridan. I'm not really sure where he is. Here's Mr. Sheridan. He's pulling right on out for me. We're going to ram him for 150 damage there. We are down triple tanks, and we are down two caps here. And the 113 is just going to start aging me up the booty. So, yeah, this is definitely not looking too good for your boy. Let's pull back from the 113, hopefully. But my team died here extraordinarily fast. The enemy team played it well. The, the kind of issue that we had this battle, it was a bit unwinnable with all of those heavy tanks. And in retrospect, I should have maybe tried to encourage my team to go town. But the issue is we have a mouse and a cron that were, well, just kind of sitting here. Not doing much all game. And of course, our 60 TP, instead of capping B and pulling back, he just YOLO'd in and died. If our 60 TP had not YOLO'd in there, and our mouse and crown had been more aggressive on the on the factory, we would have had a chance of winning here. But this is just the pain of supremacy, especially when your heavy tanks are not too optimal. I wasn't able to farm much because I was just trying to salvage the game by getting some caps first. And then, of course, the 113 Sheridan, they all just YOLO'd back for me. There's nothing I could do about that. And it's game over just like that. I tried my best. That was not an ideal farm situation. I spent most of that game just trying to figure out how to win first. So in terms of damage, we probably got like, what, 2K max? 2400, which is probably still top of the team. Of course, <laughs> our 60 TB did do 600 damage, bless him. Uh, so yeah, maybe not the best team there. It is what it is. Let's jump into another game. Hopefully one that's more optimal for the damage dealing. <laughs> it's Fatness 703% or nothing. Fatness, that wasn't 7k, very much sad. There was no way I could farm 7k damage that game. Not with me trying to go around capping bases and stuff. Okay, what we're going to do here... We're going to spot up mid. So, some tanks I'll have to keep an eye out. Sheridan, STB. Those two tanks are going mid. The Sheridan can spot me. They also have a Grill 268 and 183, which could easily snipe me in mid. But if I can get that early information on where their team is going, I usually find that to be quite valuable. And sometimes you can even get an early shot or two off. So, we're going to spot right up here. Boom. 60 TP, VK spotted. We now know the enemy team a bit of a split. We're going to pull back ever so slightly so the 60 TP won't be able to spot me. 320 damage dealt into him. He shouldn't be able to outspot me from there. Let's see if we can spot anybody else. So far, no one. What I'm going to do now is get ready to pull back from here. Because the VK might pop up there and start shooting at me. And the TDs could be covering him. And it looks like, so far, no one is spotted at the caves. Now, I have quite a few allies going town. I think I'm going to actually go with them and try and deal with the 60 TP, who I personally believe to be isolated, considering how aggressive the STB is over there. 60 TP probably doesn't have a whole lot of support. Okay, the grill's there. He shouldn't be able to spot me just yet. I'm going to make the bit of a risky crossing here. Now, I believe the grill, the 183, or the VK have just nuked our mans here. Let's put a quick shell towards this crossing. Pull across above the 60 TP. I am safe here for now. So if the 60 TP wants to start shooting at me, he can. He does put a heat shell onto me, but I have radical calibration. Here's a good part opportunity to activate it, and we could just start ripping him apart with DPM. Now, I'm happy I'm doing this because I think it would take my team a little bit of time to clear him out, but unfortunately, the cost is going to be losing our Sheridan over on the flank. Now, I could help him out maybe. Oh my gosh, look at that gun. Instant shot into the STB-1 there. STB-1 does get taken down. The enemy Gorilla 15 overextended just slightly here. STB pulling forward, putting another shell towards him. I was able to hit him even though he fired first and I was still able to avoid that shell. Very nice. Okay, so my team are actually in a fairly decent position here. We are all kind of stuck in one position, but 
We do have a lot more, I believe, hit points than the enemy team. This VK is getting pressured back. I'm going to see if I can start sniping him. So this is a good situation for me to kind of be a little bit passive. I know I'm not getting a ton of farm just yet, but I really can't push into our spawn by ourselves, by myself, because, you know, the STB268 shirt and they all could just YOLO me. That's not really ideal. Well, I guess we'll just try and hatch snipe this dude for, for the time being, although it's not working very well. 183 is safe. STB, however, is spotted over here, so we know he has rotated out. It looks like my team is starting to push pretty aggressively through there. I'm going to go back through our spawn now, because this game is pretty much one at 3-1 score. And I just want to see if I can get as much damage out as possible before it's over. Now, the Sheridan will be able to outspot me, so I'm going to try and keep an eye out for that. Not 100% sure where he is or if he has been spotted yet this battle. He probably helped killing our Sheridan. The enemy STB pulling forward here. Put a quick shell into him. The gun says, yes, please. I think I will hit those. Absolutely bopping that Sheridan. And we can see the enemy 268 Sheridan over here. Now, instead of pushing below them where they could both just YOLO me, I'm actually going to pull up onto this ridge here. That way, if they both get eager to pressure me here, I will have some security. Let's put a quick shot to this 268 tracks. Unfortunately, that one does not quite go in. We're going to pull back ever so slightly. Let's pop the reticle calibration. Probably put a hat shot into him. Very nice. Getting one hat shot. This is pretty good for me. Uh, the 268 might be able to hit me if I sit stationary. Second shot. We managed to bait a shell out of him. This is where accuracy makes armor almost irrelevant because <laughs> not only is the 268 unable to hide his weak spot there, but he's really unable to hit me back because I'm peeking for such a short period of time. Once again, maybe not the highest farm game, but at least we did win this time. I think in retrospect, it could have been a little bit more aggressive this battle. That is true. We have a wild Sheridan popping up over here on our left. Just put a quick shell into his rear. 450 max roll. We've actually done 3600, so one more shell should put me at just about 4k for this battle. Let's put another shell into the Sheridan here. He gets yeeted into oblivion. 183 probably going to die before I get a shell into him, but let's try and kill him. And we fluffed our shot, sadly. But just under 4,000 damage. I think we played that quite well. And what we're going to call out for this situation is instead of just like full committing to caves and this is why i really do like spotting up early on black goldville when possible is we were able to read right off the bat okay their team split now the vk went caves the, the 60 tp was the only tank spotted pushing in towards town and then once the stb got spotted all the way in the caves it kind of suggested to me that there's a very high chance that the enemy team did full send most of their tanks towards the caves and that's why i was like okay we can rotate we can clear town and from there we can work around clearing out the rest of their team and it worked quite well these are the type of things you want to pay attention to when you are in a leopard one to figure out where those tanks are spotted and where you can most easily go to deal damage quickly i would suppose now enemy team have double t22s a tvp some mobile heavy tanks this is something that i don't really really like so i'm a, i'm just gonna give up on the decap fight looks like a 422 gave up as well i'm gonna try and take the heavy tank corner as quickly as possible because the enemy team still have some heavy tanks there is a chance they'll send some this way but i i believe that may not be the case as no one so far has been spotted going to this side of the map and that means our gorilla our 268 are a little bit exposed and isolated now I'm going to see if there's any way for me to start spotting up the enemy tanks. Now, I'm sure they're going to have a, like a whole uh, shooting battalion up on these ridge lines. I'll have to watch out for. And there we go. We do find the Super Conqueror. Let's put a quick shot onto the Super Conqueror. Very nice. He shouldn't be able to spot me from here. Let's pop our Adrenaline. Radical Calibration. We're going to aim for a track shot. Boom. Tracking the Super Conqueror. He still should be unable to spot me. He gets shot again. I don't think I'm going to get another shell. That one actually might have gone in. It kind of flicked a little bit to the right more than I expected. And so the Super Conqueror losing quite a healthy chunk of hit points there. And now I have a decision to make. Do I pressure into their spawn? Do I pull back into our spawn? Or do I just try and hold mid with my allies? Realistically, pushing into their spawn, while it is an option, I do not believe this is a great option. Because they could just have haul down tanks on these ridge lines that will immediately stop any kind of pressure I will make. I think I'm going to have to wait for the enemy team to start making mistakes here. But the only kind of concern is the fact that they do have a lot of tanks. Now, there is a tank there. Let's take some blind shots just in case. I'm going to take a passive here. This is a situation where I think being passive until I can figure out where most of their team is is going to be the better option for me. We can already see their team is getting ready to just full send it into our spawn. Now, I don't know if I can crossfire out this 50B and co. There is the Super Conqueror, so I don't believe that last blind shot was a pen, sadly. But we do have a potential crossfire on the 50B, the Chief to Mark 6, these dudes. I don't really want to overcommit here. They have a TVP, double T22s, you know, a 60 TP. They have a lot of tanks over here, but I might barely be able to provide a crossfire. Unable to snag the Chieftain there, but from this position, as long as I don't get spotted, I should have years of farm on the enemy tanks. Let's put one shell into this Chief to Mark 6 here. Very nice. If these T22 you start getting a little bit more aggressive that might be able to start shooting them here in just a moment they are kind of perma spotted here 
I think for now, we're going to take it easy. Let's put a shell into the 60 TP. Nice quick shell into him for 412 damage. Still, let's spot the reticle calibration for these T22s, maybe, or the 60 TP. I think the T22 is about to pull right into my gun. Boom, 355. Very nice. We're just going to reliably hit our shells here. And I'm not doing much, but I, I am keeping their tanks at bay. So I think this is cool. I, I think this is decent for now. Eventually, I will want to get a little bit more aggressive. Unfortunately, unable to pick up a kill on the 60 TP. Maybe the 268 can. Let's load up a heat shell just in case. There we go. Quick kill shot into this dude. We have the TVP over here on our left who is running away. There's another tank over here. Type did go down. And um, enemy team are still in a fairly solid position this battle. All right. Let's see if this chieftain makes a play. I, I don't like purely sniping, but in this case, I think that was an okay play. Now, my whole team is stuck on this ridge line. They are not going to be pushing anywhere. Now, I know the TVP was flanking us, which is why I wanted to really preserve my hit points for this battle. Because I know it's only a matter of time before him and the 50B start pulling in behind us. So, the 50B is probably going to back up soon. Okay, there's the T22. There's the 50B. Let's wait for the 50B to start backing up. After he gets his magazine out, he should back up really quickly here, I believe. Not quite. I am very scared of what that TVP is doing. Let's put a shell into their T22. And I need to be more aggressive. Wait, wait. Let's kill the 50B first if we can. No, he's pulling back passively. Okay, we do take a shot here. Here's the TVP in the ult. Let's put a quick snapshot into him. We are safe for now as long as we stay back. Okay. And so we do have some crossfire here in their T22, their chieftain. I am still spotted for the time being, but I would like to try and cover my allies as best as I can for now. T22 pulling forward, 390 damage into him. And I believe this is game over for, for yours truly. Okay, maybe I was a little too passive this game, guys. Maybe I was just a wee bit too passive here. Uh, the T22 is me, the old bit. No, T22. Rat. Okay. Yeah, I was way too passive. Dang it, I don't know why my whole team sat in spawn. I was hoping they would kind of push forward or pull back into the mid together. But that doesn't appear to be the case. All right, enemy T22 is here. This game is already over. It's going to the shell towards this man's, but... Yeah, this wasn't going to be a very good game, man. My whole team got stuck in one little position, which was the problem. Let's just get some ram damage out before it's over. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I should have been so passive there. I was... I don't... Uh, I don't know why our 60 TP and uh, stuff pushed up. They should have pulled back into the ditch instead of pressuring into the crossfire. Because they had like, way too much crossfire for us to push there. But in the end, I could have been more aggressive. But uh, our type 71 kind of yoloed into Narnia and died by himself. Oh, well. Maybe not the best play by me. I, I thought it was going to work out fine, but then my allies died just, like, way, way too fast there. Way, way too fast. So I shouldn't have, um... Maybe I shouldn't have been so passive. I, I thought they were going to survive longer than they did. And in retrospect, I should have just YOLO'd on the flank and killed the TBP as quickly as possible. Once our Type 71 went down. But obviously, you know, he had a T22 with him. I, if I take 1,200 from the TVP, I'm a three. Sh I'm a two shot to the T22. So it's like, it, it's not really a safe play. But what we are gonna do now. That that game's in the past. Let's jump into this one. We're gonna spot fairly aggressively so far. No one has been spotted up yet. Take a blind shot into their bushes just in case. And it looks like the enemy team are going to send their tanks into the town. Now, the Leo one doesn't really have the best view range. So I don't <laughs> I don't want to YOLO in and find myself getting yeeted by TDs. I'm just going to take a few blind shots for now. And we will wait for our Sheridan, who does have really good view range, to start spotting up their tanks. Okay, so Waffenträger appears to have been blind fired by me twice this game so far, and it, yes, he has. WZ120 has kind of spotted me here. Here's the 405, and here's where we can just start going ham with this tank's accuracy. It doesn't matter what the 405 does, he really can't avoid any of these shells. And so we have already farmed almost 2,000 damage up. The Leo 1, definitely very good for this type of situation. You pop that reticle calibration and whatnot, and then it's just free farm. There's the 183. Unfortunately, our 113 loses. Is 1800 hit points there not really sure what our man's was thinking when he kind of went sideways to the 183 but he does unfortunately get taken out Waffenträger pulling up a little bit more passively okay I don't want to get spotted by the WZ120 and nuked by the by the grill I mean by the Waffenträger and the 183 but if I have a crossfire on their 57 I do not let's let's just in case take some extra blind shots here we are spotted by the WZ120 let's pull down now okay so WZ120 is still holding back there's the enemy TBP who has started rotating back ever so slightly. I believe I did blind fire that Waffenträger again. As you can see, he's only on 200 hit points now. TBP's kind of stuck in Narnia and our 62A commits death. Okay, so my, this WZ120 probably has just insane amounts of spotting damage this game. I really can't pressure this side. There's too many TDs. Our Waffenträger might be making the same mistake shortly. Uh, there's too many TDs for me to really make an aggro play here. Okay, let's just in case. Okay, the TBP spotted me up. Let's pull back for a second. 
Oh, never mind. The Waffenträger spot the TVP up. Okay. We might be able to do something to this TVP. But we'll have to keep an eye out for their tank destroyers, of course, who, who can just pull forward and shoot me at any time they want. Uh, I can't really do a whole lot about the heavy side right now, especially with this DVP kind of spotting up down low here. Waffenträger getting safe. These games are a bit unpleasant, to say the least, just because of all the kind of sniping or whatnot. I can't really pressure anywhere. I could rotate out and go heavy side. Oh, there's the 183. Okay. See if we have enough gun depression to shoot this man's. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit. Um... This game is not looking good once again for me and my allies. Okay, so we do spot this dude up. Let's put a blind shot in because they have a waffle there still. Not quite. And it's just me and the waffle here. So my allies did a really good job of, well, dying quickly here. Not really sure what what, what our mans was thinking. But uh, TB Waffle and is going to yell into the TBP. It's kind of game over, isn't it? No, oh, this isn't very good. Okay, I got to do something about this enemy TBP first. He's the one that can chase me down. It's just game over, isn't it? It's straight up just game over. There's not really a whole lot I can do with these teams, man. Our, our That WZ-120 was the biggest bait for his team that there ever could have been. Like, kudos to him. He had the best bait run ever. All right. Oh, my goodness. 600 damage blocked there. Let's put a quick shell towards the TBP. 342 Dell. Okay. We can still put some more shots towards Mr. TVP here if he does decide to poke me. But he doesn't want to poke me. Looks like we have a WZ-120 being quite aggressive on me now. I have him on reload. Now, I don't want to take a shot from the Waffenträger if I can help it. Let's put a quick kill shot into our mans here. Alrighty. And now the TVP is probably just going to straight up send it. Pull yellow in as TVPs always do. And I can't really run from him or the 57. I will try and use him as a bit of a meat shield for the time being though. But it's over. Okay, so we got 4,500 damage out um 113 whoa gosh my team okay um that wz120 deserves a fist bump this dude didn't do much but he screwed my entire team's advance on that flank i don't know how much it doesn't tell me how much spotting he did does it he probably got like 4,000 spotting there because our Waffenträger suicided into him, our 113 suicided into him, and our 62A suicided into him. All for full hit points. Good game to the WZ. Pulled it off really well. So, yeah. That's what happens when every team has triple TDs and your medium lights just decide to suicide YOLO. Very pug results indeed. <laughs> NA teams, huh? Yes. NA teams in a nutshell, right? I did as much as I physically good could on that flank. And once again, like the issue was I couldn't YOLO the WZ myself, right? They had the TVP hovering at the entrance of town. Sadly, the Waffenträger did not die. So I had to worry about him shooting me. And of course, I would have to take a shot from the WZ-120. It's like there was no way for me to really push him without dying, right? And I suppose if that was the case, I would have been better off returning to my spawn and farming out the heavy tanks and helping my heavies out instead of just dealing with a one-shot, one you know, WZ-120. Probably would have been the better play to make in the end, but I really didn't want to completely give up that flank. All right, enemy Leopard 1 spotted. We do hit him for 350, so he got there right about the same time as me, but our T-22 is full sending it. Now, the enemy team, once again, have the triple tank destroyers. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Let's see if I can spot anyone up. So far, no other tank destroyers have been spotted and it looks like mr leopard one's gonna try and make a break for it it's put a 339 shell into him very nice alpha damage indeed <laughs> and i'm gonna start getting a little bit more passive because their badger is kind of sending it into the corner their yo is a bit isolated on this flank here but rt22 is gonna get ripped apart by a badger right he can't take that one versus one he'll get annihilated and there's not really much i can do to help him because i can't even pen the badger but what do we got for allied support got some 183s back here we have the T-22 making a break for it. In all honesty, the probably the best play for me to make right now is probably to run away. But let's see if we can put a quick shell into this Patton first. So we do get a nice shell into Mr. Patton here. I'm going to pop my adrenaline because I want to see if we can kill Mr. Patton. We do get another shell into Mr. Patton. We pull back. The Badger is getting quite aggressive indeed. Not able to hit him here, sadly. Let's pull back for a second more. The enemy team probably still have a lot of TDs hanging in around this corner here. Mr. Badger is just chilling. And we do have the WZ-111-14 flanking around behind us. Okay. The WZ-111 has been quite aggro. I think temporarily, let's give up the corner. Get ready to pop a shell into their Leopard. 346. I want to start pressuring their WZ because he's YOLOing straight into a 183 here. We can pick up a kill on him. Nice. Looks like we're going to start getting some dubs here very shortly. Not going to overextend for that precise reason. Lots of TD say burr. One other shot towards the Badger. Unfortunately, that one doesn't go through. But this also means 
I am free, along with this T22, to start being a little bit more aggressive on Mr. Badger here. So hopefully, together, we can pull this off. T22 hitting a very nice shot onto Mr. Badger here. I'm gonna put a shot onto Badger as well. Cool, I do have the Badger on reload here, so let's just try and keep his lower plate in my reticle. Let's put another shot onto Mr. Badger. Hopefully, T22 can do something about him. T22 seems to have abandoned me for now, which means I will just have to kill Mr. Badger here. He's dancing for me, which is very cute, but he is dead all the same. Sorry, dude, dancing will not save your life. All right. Looks like we have a T22 and a 183. The 183 is yoloing down behind us. So, hopefully my allies don't block me off here. There's the 183. Okay, cool. Let's escape from the 183. I'm gonna... The 183 gets absolutely bopped by our own 183 there. Here's the grill. Let's put it... Oh, hey, hey. Classic. HE unfortunately not pending, but he's already dead. So let's just ram kill him, hopefully. There we go. And we finally get a dub! Let's go! We finally won! I decided to be pretty aggressive in the corner there with our T22 because, honestly, the Leopard and Patton weren't able to hold too well, that the that which just left their Badger alone. And so, maybe not the best in terms of, like, farming damage, but I, I right now, I kind of want some dubs. I'm a, I'm a little sad from losing those first few games, so I, I kind of want to get some wins here. So, I'll happily take that game. And let's jump into another game. Okay, so we're on Dead Rail now. Enemy Team Sheridan, 60 to an E50M, a very strong medium and light tank combination. I'll have to keep an eye out that because as for me, I only have an E50M for support. So not only are we at a numerical disadvantage here, but they also have very strong opponents for us to deal with. And I don't really have support from the allies. Okay. Very solid chance that we're going to lose med side here. That's because we're a wee bit outnumbered. Now the Sheridan, I don't know if he'll outspot me. There's the Sheridan. Put a quick snapshot into him. You have to absolutely love that that shell velocity that this tank gets. Our E50M is camelless, and it looks like he's straight full sending it for the Pepega YOLOs. So, unsurprisingly, this man's about to get yeeted. E50M pull, full sending it onto me. Now, luckily for me, the E50M does not have DPM to compete with mine. Let's put another shell onto Mr. E50M here. Now, it's gonna have to 1v1 this E50M. Let's try and pull back from his turret, pull forward again, keep avoiding some shells from this dude. E50M is currently just kind of suicide YOLOing. Let's put another shell into him, and it looks like the Sheridan and 62A are also kind of sending it for me. Let's pull away from the E50M here, pull another track shot towards him, and I might have to start running away here because I think RE50M isn't going to be super long for this run. Put another shell towards him. The Sheridan is pre-aiming for me here, so let's just wait for Mr. E50M to get up close and personal, put a kill shot into him, and we do manage to escape from the Sheridan for the time being. Now, with my type of cal red, uh, aiming time that this tank has, we might even be able to catch Mr. Sheridan off guard here, pick up a quick kill on him, and we also managed to escape. Very well played, I think. The E50M was not the best player, and I'm happy I didn't over-aggress with our own Sheridan because that would have ended up with me dying pretty quickly there. Now I can just play the kind of passive hold spawn game. They do have a 62A, a Yag, a 1A3, I mean uh, a, a Hori and an E4 that all went this way, but we at least managed to clear the Sheridan and the E50M out during that engagement, leaving the score 4 to 1. Let's get into these bushes real quickly, see if we can spawn anyone up. Someone did go through and counter cap just a moment ago. There's the enemy's Jaeger root. Let's put a quick 350 alpha shell into him, and I believe that means the T124 was the one that was on the cap there for a moment. There's a 62A, boom, another snapshot. I mean, look at that gun. The shell velocity allows you to point and shoot. Like, I didn't have to lead the 62A or anything there. I could just point and shoot. I point and shoot. That's exactly what this tank does. Now, with the 183 is crossfire, I don't have to worry about these dudes yellowing into me very much. I mean, the Yag may, may, may try here. Let's put a shell towards him. We managed to bait the Yeagaru. He gets 183, so this is game over for the Yag. I can just put a couple shells into him. We will end up on about 3,700 or so damage. If we get another shell into the 62A, we can get even more. 62A is full sending it for me, but he's probably just going to get 183 or something. Let's get that 4K out, maybe. Very nice. Not a shabby game at all. I will happily take that. Leo 1 versus E50M. The E50M thought he could just full yeet, full send it onto me. But no. No, he could not because he got stuck in a side hug. Absolutely DPM'd out. Did two shots of damage and died. Um, very unlucky to the E50M there on the enemy team. Our E50M was a bit, a bit aggro there. Maybe we should have been a little more passive. We were outnumbered. But it worked out in the end. Not a bad game. I think we played that quite well. Alrighty. Vanish just holding this flank like a mouse. <laughs> I tried my best. I had the 1A3 for cover fire. So, I won't mind. I won't mind. But man, oh man. The Leopard 1's gun is just so fire. It, re it really is. Okay, enemy team. They have a TVP. That's it for the mediums. I do have the support of a T22. This time with the meta vantage for me. I'm going to spot up the crossing first. They do have heavies and TDs that may go into the dunes. It's unlikely given, given what type of heavies and TDs they have. So kind of aggressively spotting here. There's the VK90. 
We might even be able to get some crossfire into some of the tanks. Some VK90 in the open. Unfortunately, my shell flukes just a little bit there. Shot goes a wee bit lower than I was hoping. K91's in the open. Boom, 369 into him. That's what we like to see. I don't believe this K91 can even spot me. Let's put reticle calibration on. Boom, another shot. Very nice. We're just easily just big brain farming this K91 from all the way back here. Another shell towards him. Unfortunately, that one doesn't pen. Oh, you see the TVPs in the town. So, yeah, enemy team did split up. Their TVP didn't head this way. That's good news for me. Our mouse is full sending the outside, which is cool. And I think... Is there a Fosh spotted up? I can't see. Is that a Fosh over there? It's a VK confinder. There's the Fosh. There's the grill. Enemy grill is in the open. He's going to get bopped. He's just going to die so, so quickly from that position. Let's see if we can pull up into a spot to start shooting at him. Let's aim for the tracks, maybe. One track shot into their Gorilla 15 here. I we'll probably hit a second shell into him momentarily. Let's put another shell into him and pull back. Very nice. Our T22 will probably pick up a kill on him momentarily. And we can just start yelling. So I think at this point, my team are pretty much going to win this game. We still have a really healthy mouse. We are going to lose a couple of heavies in town, but we're also going to have a lot of map control over the enemy team. Map control, I'm sure they just wish they had. Okay, there's the enemy's Fosh 155. We should be able to kill the K91. K91 does get taken out. Fosh is by himself back here. I don't know if he's looking my way. He has just fired. It's aimed for that very weak drive wheel. 370 into Mr. Fashipu over here. He has repaired. And it looks like we can hit him once again in the side. Very nice. He should go down momentarily here to the T22 or me. Doesn't really matter who does it. There we go. And it just leaves three heavies for the enemy team. So we're able to clear that flank out very, very well. Luckily, we had the medium tank advantage in terms of numerical uh, tanks here. So that allowed me to very easily pull through with the T22 and just clear that side. I'm away for this E100 to shoot. I have a feeling he's going to wait for me or the T22. It's aim for a track shot. There we go. Good track shot. Conf pads are shooting an AG shell into me. Nasty little bugger. Let's get ready to start putting some more track shots into the E100. We're also going to get ready to shoot this Conf Panzer here. The game is actually closer than I anticipated. Put another shot into this man's. We might be able to pick up a kill shot on this E100 momentarily as well. All right, very nice. We'll just uh, let's leave that for the homies. We're gonna go farm some damage because now it is a guaranteed dub. Let's put a quick shot to the K into the VK90. That's 4200 damage dealt already. Very nice indeed. Put another shell into his lower plate here, and wow, that tank has more armor. Okay. We're just going to pull to his side. Dude, if you turn sideways to him, you're getting nuked by everyone. There we go. Another 330 into him, and it's GG. So 4.5k or so damage dealt. Not bad at all. Very, very well played, I think, to our mouse that game. Shout out to that mouse player who pushed the outside very aggressively, helped clear out the enemy's spawn, and then turned back attention to the heavy side. Sure, he could have just tanked the regular heavy route, but sometimes I feel like if you get way too many heavies stuck in that alley, then you just get stuck there and crossfired out. So I think the mouse made the right play there by going around. 4,600 damage dealt, another dub. That's what we like to see. We're getting some better games now. Look like Fan is finally knocked the rust off, though. <laughs> Drop a like for, for games that end in W. Hey, yo, Rust, some of those games were unwinnable, my dude. <laughs> also, I started getting a little more aggressive in the Indie Leopard again. I think that's the playstyle that suits me best. Okay. Enemy team got scammed. There's me in the A50. They don't have a single med. They have triple TDs, lots of heavies. I can aggressively spot mid, start farming out. This game has a world of potential in terms of farm. So much hit points in this battle and a lot of tanks that don't have great view range. So we're going to start off by spotting up the mid here pretty aggressively. Because I first want to double check, you know, where are their tanks going? All right, we do find a wild super conqueror. Let's put a quick shot towards him. Unfortunately, that shot hits his tracks and doesn't pen. Now, I don't know if he can spot me up. It appears he can. We do take a shot from the IS-7. So I didn't realize the super conqueror had such good view range. Unfortunately, we do take a shot of damage there. The Yag Tiger on the enemy team is holding pretty passively here. I think the IS-7 is just going to sit here and stare at me like all game long. Which is fine because he's not going to be aggressing on the other side of the map. Okay, they still have some unspotted TDs here. Which are probably in the mid. But if we can clear out their spawn, that would be cool. Now, I think they do have a lot of TDs in spawn. Let's watch out for the 50B. He could rotate back for us very, very easily. But let's begin by clearing out their spawn. But let's be ready to run away at a moment's notice. Depending on who and what gets spotted up where. Enemy T30 spotted. Let's put a shell into him. And of course, the Waffenträger is just sitting in a bush, like very typically. And this IS-7 clearly has a thing for me. As you can see, he's just straight up yellowing for me. So here's where I just got to run away from here. That's as I stated, you know, it's very easy. Here's the issue when you do flank maneuvers. It's very easy for tanks just to full YOLO you regardless of how well you flank. So we're going to run away from Mr. IS-7 here. I don't think he has the view to spot me up. Okay. Unfortunately, losing a lot of hit points to do one shot of damage, but the enemy's heavy tanks are doing an abysmal job fighting the heavy side, mostly because they have tanks like this IS-7 just wandering around Narnia, chasing down a Leopard 1 that can go 65 while he's capped at 45. And, uh, yeah, his heavy tanks are actually losing the engagement as a result. So let's just keep running away for the IS-7. 
And it looks like, oh man, how am I gonna farm this game? Like, their heavies are getting annihilated. I can't fight the flank by myself. And so there's like no farm for me. This is a really bad situation, actually. I thought this game was gonna be golden because I thought their heavies are actually just gonna take advantage of the fact that they had a huge heavy, heavy uh, numerical advantage this game to just pressure that flank. But that's not the case. They're not doing that in the slightest. And well, as you can see, they are also kind of losing this game big time. Let's put a shell into the Super Conqueror here. Very nice. We're still safe from the I-7. Super Conqueror dropping down. I-7 kind of pulling in towards the mid just ever so slightly here. It looks like... Uh, I don't know if I can really pen him. I-7 is now dying to our team that rotated back. And so that's what he gets for wandering all the way into Narnia to chase me down when he should know pretty, pretty darn well that you can't outrun a Leopard 1, my dude. Is it even worth wasting my time on this man's? I guess. <laughs> Their team, oh my gosh, their team messed up so many, so big time. They could have just ransacked Heaviside. They would have had so much farm and, and, and probably a pretty easy dub, but they didn't. They, they neglected to do that. And as a result, they pushing in, they're pushing in way, way too late. They're going to lose this game. Now, sadly for me, it's not going to be the highest damage game. Uh, we still have the Waffen 30 or T30 as the T. Oh my gosh, 50B. How lucky are you? Oh, yes, let's pull forward again. Okay, 50B gets taken out. There's like nobody left in this battle to deal damage to. At least no one that I can shoot reliably here. The Waffenträger is around the corner, although we do know he is running a stock gun. Let's put a quick shot into him. Very nice. That's 406 damage dealt into this man's here. Let's see if we can maybe put a second shell into him before it's too late. He's dead. Absolutely no farm for me. I, I should have just sat in spawn. I would have had more damage just sitting in spawn. But no, this rat IS-7 just had to YOLO back through spawn. Uh, their whole team just sat there. Their whole team just sat there. I overestimated their ability. They could have very easily annihilated the heavy side. But they got way too distracted on the Leo one that was kind of sitting in mid or back. They didn't pressure anywhere. They didn't take any map control away from my team. And they lost that game really fast. So RIP to the enemy team. RIP to my damage farm as well there. I could have done that a little better for sure. But as you guys saw perfectly in that example, if you try and flank and farm, there's always these super hyper mobile heavy tanks that just YOLO straight for you. It's kind of the issue with the recent update, especially with the Leopard 1. As good as the Leo 1 is now, heavies are just so mobile that they could just instantly turn to YOLO you at 45 kilometers an hour. Now, obviously you couldn't catch me, but you know, back in the day with the i7's old traverse, it would have taken them a lot longer to get over to where we were. So anyways, I'm gonna pull a bit of a flank this game. I don't want to get stuck versus the E50M and all those dudes. Let's see if we can kind of spot up anyone that's going towards decap. Enemy team do have a tank on B. They have some tanks on A. Let's just quickly find out what the enemy team is doing. See if we can get some farm in. And, well, that's not good at all. We are spotted by the E100s. Put a quick shot to Mr. E100 here. And let's begin the process of retreating into, hopefully, safety without taking a massive HE cell up the rear. Okay, so E100 cannot quite spot me. If I stay in this ditch, I should still be unspotted, should still be unspotted. We are gonna make the great escape here. The E50M is yellowing back for me here. Let's put a blind shot towards him just in case. He does not, he does not pull all the way in. Oh wow, the standard B was there as well. So apparently the whole enemy team went factory. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't overcommit, especially since that E50M was being so aggressive over up top. I thought for sure their team was kind of committing to this side of the map, but that turns out not to be the case. We have, let's see. There's the whole re standard B. My team is just kind of pressuring their spawn. Um, hopefully, my allies come back for support. I would love to take out the standard B, if that's possible. Maybe the whole re at the same time. Let's see if we can pull forward here. Catch the whole re off guard. Put a quick 380 damage shell into him. E50M and standard B are both kind of getting a little bit aggressive for me here. So let's get ready to start shooting at them. E50M getting quite aggressive. We do manage to avoid a shell from him. We can start pulling back into a safer position here. Hopefully we can avoid the Hori as well. Very nice. We're avoiding the major crossfire. But unfortunately, my allies are really nowhere to be found. Let's put a shell into their E50M. Nice. I do have a Type 71 here for crossfire support. As long as I don't overextend and get myself spotted and shot, we should be fine for now. Let's see if this E50M pulls forward. Let's put a quick shell into him. Very good. Gun handling is better on my tank than his. So we are obviously going to out, out, out spot him, out shoot him there. We're just going to hold this position for now. Looks like the standard B is pre-aiming. There's no way I was spotted, right? Dang, the standard B just went for the blind shot. Good blind shot by the standard B there. And I think I can just keep pulling back in towards safety. Okay, we are now safe. Type 71, if you want to full send it, I will happily support you here. Okay, Type 71 sending it. The 100 went down into Narnia, which is cool. E50M is rotating out. 
We can get some side shots into the C100 here. He has just fired. I'm gonna put one shell into Mr. E100 while he's stuck in the open here. Let's put a second shell into Mr. E100 while he's stuck in the open. We should have time to even put a third shell into Mr. E100 while he's stuck in the open and pull back into safety. Very nice. E100's a bit distracted for the time being. E50M is full sending it across the map. Let's put a shell into the back of his turret. Very nice. E50M losing quite a few hit points here. I believe the E100 has just fired his gun off, so let's get ready to pick up a kill on him. Very well played. Okay, holding the spawn worked out very well to my advantage this game so far. Let's pull away from the E50M. Let's go. Getting the ricochet. Let's put another shot towards him. Very nice indeed. This E50M is not having a very pleasant gamer experience at all, as he is losing quite a few hit points here. Emil, standard B is two shot. Emil just got nuked for all of his hit points. There's the standard B on the enemy side. Um, sadly, that shot does miss, but I think at this point, let's just YOLO to get our damage out. Very cool. All right, so we should get a dub this game, which is very nice. Let's play a quick shot to Mr. Standard B. Avoid this dude. Avoid the Standard B. He has a three and a half second reload. Let's go for the this Emil. He will give me more farm here. Another shell into him. That's 4.4k damage dealt. And just like that, we will get about 4,600 damage. Not too bad. Okay. Whew. So, a lot of just sitting in the spawn, using the bush to my advantage. The reason I sat there. No, it was not because I had a 4005 with me. It's because I had a Rat 71 with me. I don't care if this Rat 71 deals zero damage to that flank. The the fact of the matter is a standard B and an E50M versus a pretty much hold on type 71 will not be able to do anything to him. Since the type 71, I saw him rotating back to support us on the med flank. I realized that if those meds pushed and over aggress, they would die, right? They wouldn't be able to kill the type. I could use them as a meat shield. If they tried to sit there, I could just play the bush. So those meds really couldn't win that flank the moment that type came back, which is why I sat there instead of running around like crazy. And that's why I was able to farm so much damage in that situation. Now, t currently, we are kind of spotting up the middle of the map here. So far, no one is really spotted except for the enemy 121. Anyone 121 being quite aggro. Let's put a quick shell into him. Enemy Yo is spotted sniping the back. Interestingly enough, I was not spotted for shooting that one to one Not really sure how that works, but I was not. The enemy Grill is stuck in the middle of Narnia. I'm going to see if I can put a shell to him, but my allies are blocking me, as all good allies do nowadays. And so, unfortunately, we're unable to farm him. The one to one does hit a shell into him, but also blocking mine in the process, which isn't very cool. Grill is... He made a questionable play. He goes down pretty fast here. M103... 50 TP, they're all kind of hauled up in the middle of the map here. This one, two, one, the Leopard, they're pretty isolated themselves. This Yo is pulling forward a little bit. Let's put a shell into his drive wheel there. Very nice, getting some farm into the Yo. 50 TP is now distracted. Let's turn around and start shooting the 50 TP. Quick shell into him. And this game's already a sweep, so... If I want damage, what's well, got a YOLO heavy side? That's really the only way this is going to happen. So I'm going to push right on in behind this M103, this 50 TP, and just go full DPM mode on these dudes. I mean, there's only four tanks left. The O is already kind of lost to Narnia. Let's pop the reticle calibration, put a quick shell into this man's here. Let's pull on in on behind this 50 TP here. I don't know if he fired. Let's put a quick shell to him as well. We're going to pull back for a second. Hey, fat, this dude's giving me some nice farm. Did you like my dance? <laughs> uh, one second. Thank you so much for the donation. I couldn't quite hear the bot telling me what you said. So give me a moment moment to respond to that once this game is kind of over. All right, let's put another shell into this man's here. Okay, this game is actually ending up a little bit closer than I expected. Oh, M103 blocking his teammate here. Let's put a track shell into him finally. Very cool indeed. One to one should have this man's here, no problem. Sadly, my farm is not going to be very big brain because my Amorak got damaged. So let's just see if we can YOLO for the M103 and get one more shell into him before it's all game over. M103 is in the open. Let's put a quick shell into this man's. He goes down. GG, 3,000 damage. Hey, Fast, uh, I was the badger on Foss. Did you like my dance? <laughs> Turtle boy. <laughs> yes, it was a very, it was, a, it was a very well done dance. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> All right, 3K, absolute sweep fest of a game. Enemy team getting yeeted. I was not in an ideal position in the farm. I would have had 4K if my Amorak wasn't damaged at the end. But oh well, so is the life of a leopard one with a single repair kit. Chat out of 10 games, how many can you can, can contribute to win? Huh? Thick long. My PC destroyed itself temporarily and now I am here. Button. Konbanwa. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Welcome. Too bad about your PC. No more streaming anime for me. Big Sag. Okay. Um, let's see. STB 121 Type 71. Enemy team are very mobile. Very, 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 very mobile. They have very strong mobile tanks, and I have about zero ally support here. So, let's not be super aggressive just yet. Wow, how did I not outspot the 1-2-1 there? 
This game is trash. Okay. So the one, two, one apparently cannot be spotted, even though I should have spotted him way before he had an opportunity to shoot me here. Let's run away from the T92. And of course, he does hit that into my mantlet. I should have ran away from the start. I should have known that. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Very rat plays by the one, two, one. Okay. I should have known pushing in from here right off the bat what it was, was going to be a mistake. However, I can provide support fire for our T22 from back here for the time being. Let's see. If this if this one, two, one, this TI2, if these dudes get a little over aggressive here, boom, TI2 takes a shot for the team there. I don't think they can spot me up from back here. So let's use this bush as cover temporarily. Put another shot into the one, two, one. One, two, one is going to push forward. Same with the two and five. BOT aim for a track shot. Put another shot into this dude. We're just going to farm a little bit from a little bit farther back. Let's aim for another track shot into this dude and a fire. And the 215V is out of repair kit, so he is as good as dead at this point. Very good. Perma tracking abilities go ham. The 121 does blind fire me. Goodness, man, this 121 is lucky. I don't know where he even hit. It wasn't the front of my tank. He must have hit the roof. But we're good. To, we should be good to win this game. Now, our type, I'm going to have to abandon because if I get spotted, I'll probably die. The good news is, though, they did lose their 215V. Their type 71 is dead as well. And so now I can run off on the heavy tank side. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to abandon you, Type, but on 416 hit points, I really don't have enough to be doing much on your side for now. And I'd rather help our team clear out this 183. So there we go. We do take down the Kampfpanzer. Our Type is still alive. He's playing a very, very well... Uh, he's playing us very well by pulling up onto the ramps. As long as the 183 doesn't HEM up the rear, then that's a game, and game over for him. So, yes, the enemy team's YOLO kind of hurt me a little bit there. But the good news is, in the end, we are still going to definitely get the dub. Okay, I don't think the 183 spotted me, right? No, he did not. Here's the TI2. Oh my goodness, this dude is just pre-aimed for me. Let's pull back for this dude. No. Oh my gosh, they all pulled up for me. Our Type 71 died somehow. Okay. Um, I don't know if the Type 71 got hatched by the 183, but he had a thousand hit hey, points. Fatness, I thought he was going to be like way watch, longer. I will watch the rest hey, Fatness, I only have a second to watch. I'll watch the later. See you later, mate. Cypress, thank you so much for the donation. Do you appreciate it? Okay, my team should be able to win this. We have some strong heavies. The TI2 is a one-shot. Our Kron's gonna put, you know, a couple shots into this dude. The Conway is getting wrecked, but as long as he can pen one shell into this one two one, we should be good. Although I don't think he's gonna have the reload to get the one two one here. Actually, you do have the reload. Just, just aim it, aim it, aim it. Fire, hash, just hash him. Oh my gosh, it's painful to watch. It's okay. We should still be able to win this on caps and numbers alone. Very nice, very nice. Oh, SCP's about to get bobbed. Cool, cool. All right. Well, not the best game for me. The enemy team just full yoloed, and I lost way too many hit points running away. In retrospect, should never have pushed to the corner. Like, I was a bit distracted in talking about something else when I started this game, so I didn't read the lineup right off the bat. And by the time I realized that so many meds, I was already kind of committed to the corner. Ideally, you wouldn't want to do that, but we will still win as a result. That 205V got absolutely wrecked there. And we did farm maybe 2,800 or so damage. It wasn't the worst case in the world. Nice. One, two, one dies. Ha! Die, you lucky. All right. There we go. I'll play for his premium crutch. I'll play for his, his premium crutch roll. I got it, fan. Don't worry. <laughs> Cypress, once again, thank you for the donation. 2600. It could have been a little better. Got a little unlucky there. The 121, like, hitting the top of my turret when I was unspotted and down in the ditch. But he, like, shot really low through the bush. He probably thought I was in the bush, but I was, like, behind it down low. But he hit the very roof of my tank there, I think. Or, like, probably the hatch. I think that's the only spot he could have hit. It was, like, right in the hatch. Where there wasn't a hit marker. Okay. Let's first start by looking at the enemy lineup. Vickers, 121, E50M. Very strong meds. And... It looks like my team wants to go A. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter so much. We're going to be playing town anyways. I'd love to play C. We are on the bad side for C. It looks like our 50B, 60TP, Yag. Yeah, these dudes... Um... These dudes aren't really interested in going med side. So we're going to try and take A. Now, while we're crossing here, let's look for broken walls on the enemy side. Boom. Broken wall. I believe there is a broken wall. Enemy team do have tanks headed into the town. They do. Unless I'm mistaken. I think they have one vehicle here, right? Is that wall broken? I can't tell from back here. Regardless, I'm going to be playing pretty aggressive through here. To see if we can find anyone in the back of the map. Okay, never mind. The wall was not broken. It was just the shadow on the wall that made me think it was broken. Okay, so they don't have any tanks here. I'm going to immediately see if I can catch these dudes off guard by going straight into the back of their spawn. Oh, this rock always catches me off guard. This is the most rat rock in the game. There we go. Jaeger gets spotted in the open. Sadly, the STB gets spotted up, so the Yak's going to be looking my way. Let's put reticle calibration on. I mean, look at that. Absolutely hair of a shot onto this Yeager here. As he's pulling back, put another shell towards him. 
The 121 gets full HP racked. The 50M gets wrecked as well. The enemy team is not looking so spicy. It's one other shell and turn man's up here. The gorilla 15. I should not be spotted as of just yet, but the one two, I mean the Fosh will definitely spot me up now. So let's pull away from him. We know that the grill's pre-aiming for me. This is not gonna be a farm game. Their meds are just suicide YOLOing. I don't know what they're thinking. They could have sat on C. But I mean, look at these meds. What are they? Oh my goodness, dude. I do not understand what these medium tanks are doing. They just threw three meds in their spawn for like full hit points for absolutely no reason. My goodness, that was quite the YOLO by the enemy team. But anyways, disregarding that, let's get behind this Fosh and start farming him out. Now there is a Yag in the vicinity. We should be aware of Mr. Jaeger Roo. Let's put a quick shell to the Fosh's tracks maybe. All right, not quite able to hit his tracks here. I don't know where Mr. Jaeger is 100%, so I'm just going to put another shot to this dude. The gorilla at least isn't in the vicinity. All right, very cool stuff. The 422 should have this kill with a headshot. Very nice. Jaeger, I assume he just what, pulled back around the corner or down into the ditch. Let's hope he pulled into the ditch because I don't see him over here. And well, that, that's a, that's the fastest sweep I've seen on this game, on this map, I swear. Put a quick shot to Mr. Jaeger, good stuff. Um, This will be very lucky if I get to farm anything this game. Let's put another shot to the Jaeger. I believe the Progetto is going to die super fast here, so let's put a farm shot into him before that happens. Then we can worry about Mr. Jaegeru here next. Okay, nice. 422 missed up in his hash. With Rammer, I should be able to outreload the 422 and at least get 3k damage out here. So, wow. What a sweep game. Um... Yeah, that, that enemy team was... They had... I don't know what their meds did. Their meds really threw. The E50M, the 121, and the and the Vickers right really through. Let's try putting Sacred Control Mode on for a second. Q might be a little longer, but not feeling these YOLOs so much right now. Definitely not feeling these YOLOs. I can't farm anything. All right. <laughs> I spent an hour troubleshooting like crazy. Unlucky. All right. All right. Hopefully the queues aren't too long. Here's the issue. There's just not enough mobile players in this game anymore on the North American server. I mean, it's it takes way too long to get into a mobile queue, but I'd rather play with mobile teams. For some reason, they just don't YOLO as much. They they play a little bit more intelligently than PC teams, which just kind of just YOLO one-sided, which is why there's a lot of sweeps. Uh, so hopefully we can get some slightly more interesting games to send control mode on. In theory. At least that's my theory. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the lineup. Enemy team. Oh, double T-123s. Vickers, 121, 907. 907 can better hold down than me. Same with the 121. The Vickers, the 50B. This could be problematic. Let's see if anyone's going mid with me. I do have a Kron coming mid. I also have the Bashathion going mid. I'm going to try and spot the crossing to start up this game. I think I'm going to try flanking a little bit more because currently right now, the, sem the semi-aggressive plays are not getting me much damage. Now, we do get a good shell into one of their T-123s. Good to know that their uh, T-95 isn't crossing. This Vickers is kind of in the open. Let's put a quick snapshot into him. They're 57 spawn sniping because, you know, effective heavy tank players nowadays, they all just like to sit in the back of spawn and snipe. Okay. So we have an E3 pushing up the mid here. This 50B could be a problem. Let's keep an eye out for him in case he does try and pull up to shoot me. Two T1 23s over here. One two one over here on my left. But, you know, the good news is we do have some pretty... We do have some pretty strong tanks like the Kron to hold mid here with me. And our Type 71 is being quite aggressive down low. So here's what I think I'm going to do. We're going to pull down low here. Enemy's 907 is getting a wee bit aggro on this flank. So let's get ready to kind of counter him. The T-123 seems to be debating him. He shoots at the T-123. This 907 is kind of lost in Narnia. I have no clue where that shot went. Let's see if we can bait him at all. You know what? I'm just going to lose some HP here, but let's put a quick shell into him. This dude misses his first shot. Type, you shouldn't drop for this dude. He's by himself after all. Type, why would you drop? Okay, we lost all of our upper ground control here. I didn't want my old team dropping for him because now we lost all of our mid control, but it's okay. This enemy team is already kind of done for. I mean, the E3s can hold mid all they want, but there's only so much they'll be able to do here, right? So here's the Vickers light. He has E3s for support. Vickers is getting ready to run away, I believe. So let's get ready to start putting some shells into him, maybe. Uh, we know they have a 57 just kind of chilling at the building in the back here. Here's the rear of the Vickers. Put a quick shot into the back of him. 380. Very nice. 57. Has he rotated out? He has rotated out. That means this 50B, this Vickers, they're being really, really aggro here. The Amex to be on the enemy team's full sending it. So let's put one quick shell into him. One to one gets taken out. Very good for me. Very nice. I can just chill here for now and start farming if my allies stop blocking my shots. Very cool. You know what? While the 50B's on reload, maybe we should try killing this T-123 first. Just put a track shot towards them. Not quite. Um, I'm going to keep focusing these T-123s as I believe them to be more dangerous to me right now than the 50B. 
as, as we do lose one of my allies in the process there, sadly. Maybe I should have kept shooting the 50B. He would have been dead by now. Okay, we're going to have to run away from this D-123 here. 50B yelled me with only a single shell, so let's pick up a quick kill shot on him. It's D-123, unable to traverse in time. We're able to pull down to the low ground which, where it is safe for me. We're going to have to try and put a hat shot into him. Not quite able to pull that off. This E3 is once again being quite, quite aggressive here. I don't know if you realize my DPM is insane. Just put a track shot into him. He does have a repair kit here. And let's see. One more track shot. If he doesn't have a repair kit, he gets taken down. Very good stuff. 57 dead. The other E3 is pretty low. Not a highest farm game, but it was a little bit better than the last battle for sure. And let's see. Oh, T123 is here. Let's put a quick shot onto his lower plate. He does get a very nice high roll into me here. And up, oh, gun depression. Up, oh, roof of the turret. Nice. Cool stuff. Okay, we got 4K out. Let's go. This is much better. Finally. <laughs> After a streak of rat games, we're finally fixing it a little bit more. There we go. That's what we like to see. Okay, I got a little unlucky on that 907, man. Kind of ricocheted a shot off of the side. Then, oof, that 907 did zero. Thank heavens he wasn't on my team. Alrighty. <laughs> Take care, Batman. Take care. Hey, Fanis, say hola. <laughs> I just did. Hello. Fanis, did you draw your Honda Civic today? Hmm. No. <laughs> it's more scuffed than you think. Fix your computer button. Darn it. I think it'll be entertaining if he played with viewers or a friend. Oh, you say my streams aren't entertaining? My feelings are hurt. <laughs> ah, mate, you absolutely demolished them. Yeah, easy collapse. All right. So, back to 3,700. You know, 80% win rate's pretty solid. I will give us that for a Leopard 1 solo. Enemy team, ooh, a Kampfpanzer 50T, a Vickers 121, AMX 50B, T125, very mobile team on their side. So we're not gonna overcommit to the A corner. That's probably gonna get me killed if I do that. Uh, the Kampfpanzer luckily is pretty trash acceleration, but my whole team wants to go to the same corner. Let's go, this is just great. We have no view range as well. Um, Sheridan does take his luck with that shot, getting himself spotted up. He is pulling back a little bit here. I really don't like this situation in the slightest. Okay. Oh, the T125 definitely spotted me up now. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like the situation here. This is unpleasant. So we know the 50B is out of the fight. That's the last same 50B from the last game. Jaeger is still an anomaly and same with their 50TP, which is why I'm a bit nervous of overcommitting the town. My team really should. I think they could really do well in town considering how many mediums and lights the enemy team has. I'm just a bit anxious to overcommit. And find myself in a position where I'm just going to get yeeted by, you know, their Yeageru and their 50TP. Alright, 50TP does get spotted up, thankfully. Let's put a quick shell towards him. The gun, unfortunately, unable to hit that shot. Now, I wasn't spotted just yet. So let's put reticle calibration on. Track the T125 in the open. Damaging his Amarak in the process. He gets tracked once again. Let's aim for his tracks one more time. Um, RNG says no, thank you. We do not hit those, but we can track them one more time. Boom, C-125 drive wheels going burr. For now, I'm just going to farm out this T-125, even if I take an extra damage, extra shot damage there. Thousand, sh thousand damage with those three shells. It's very nice. 50 TP is yellowing down the middle now. And I, I really don't know what he's thinking because, well, now he's going to lose entrance of town. AMX 50B going back up towards our spawn. Let's put a quick shell into him back up. Very nice indeed. We have the TVP here. We have the Sheridan here. The Vickers is in the back here, not able to shoot us just yet. I think the 50B is fired like two or three times. Enemy comp finds the 50T getting quite aggressive, but the 50B seems to be on reload. Here's a good time there. I can start pressuring him. Just put another shell to this 50B. Okay, he's not quite on reload. He still has one, maybe two shots left. He doesn't shoot me here. Let's put another Hesh shell into his side. Or, I mean, not Hesh. HE shell. Ricocheting. Pick up the kill. Very nice. We cleared out town exactly what I wanted to do. But the moment I saw all of their meds take that corner. 50 TP is now just big chilling behind us here. So I guess we can just counter yellow for him or the 50, or Kampf Panzer 50 T on the enemy team. Kampf Panzer being quite aggro. Let's put a shell towards his lower plate. Unfortunately, that shot goes into Narnia. So we don't manage to quite pen him there. Put another shell towards his lower plate here. Very nice. 400 alpha damage there. He's going to, I guess, just shoot at me. Or again, and then just ram kill himself. That's that's a pretty good plan. Cool beans. Okay. So that leaves Mr. 50 TP down here, who's probably going to shoot at our TVP, I would assume. He does shoot at our TVP. Let's track him. TVP should hopefully be able to put another shell into him in just a moment here. Um, 50 TP misses that one up, but he does get taken out by the Sheridan. That just leaves the Yag and the one to one Fairly fun game of just yellowing around through town. That was a lot of fun, just kind of being a little bit more aggressive this time. Let's pick up a kill shot on their one to one b in just a moment. I thought he was going to pull up, but he didn't. Okay, and let's figure out what their Yeageru is up to. 
All right, we find their Jaeger Roo chilling in Narnia. Let's aim for that side of his tank there. 450. I wanted to use my max roll while I could. TDP sadly does get taken down there. I do have reload on the 1 to 1 here, though. Very clean. And the Jaeger Roo will not be able to out traverse me because I will just take out his tracks if he tries. There we go. Very nice. Jaeger Roo's in the open. Sheridan shot the kill. That's 4,000 damage dealt. Solid game. YOLOing around. Kudos to the Sheridan. He actually played a pretty solid game there, playing support in town as well. And uh, I think the TVP tried as well to the best of his ability. So I would say not too shabby. 4,150 damage dealt. Sheridan almost playing off 4K as well. GG to him. There we go. These games are a little bit more enjoyable. Fatness only fans. You think Fijui can help me with this? Uh, I needed my rated controller and my GPU ain't reading. Button, uh, I I wouldn't know. Is is Fiju a tech connoisseur? Because I, I would I don't know. <laughs> you can ask. Fatness be slimness. Ah, good day, Fatness and stream. Veggie my tanker. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Going mid is kind of a no go for me. We're on Canyon. They have a 62 ATVP. Um. I don't really feel like going mid. I have support of an M4, an IS-4, and a T-124. What I'm going to do instead, we'll let the Kampf Panzer spot up mid. He can do that pretty easily. But I don't have the armor to do that. Now, I know going heavy side sounds a bit illogical when you consider armor profile and stuff. But sometimes if you get here fast enough, you can prevent their heavies from taking corner. Your heavies can take it, and it's usually a pretty easy win after that. So let's see if we can spot up any kind of heavy tank set it up towards this side of the map. So far... No heavies have been spotted. So I'm going to maintain a bit of a crossfire on their cron for the moment. Let's pull back just a bit. Do, 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 do. See if our conf panzer spots up anyone crossing like their cron or something. The cron is here, but I don't think he's being super aggressive. The 62 way so happens to be here as well. Very interesting. Now they have a couple of TDs. We don't want to get overextended in front of all those tank destroyers and yeeted to oblivion. That's never a very fun experience. But Mr. 62 way Oh, that's Mr. VK90. Okay. I should be careful. Those TDs could have shots on me from above. Let's pull back from that. Kronwagen on the enemy team being a little bit more aggressive here. Let's put a quick shell towards them. The fence is unfortunately pulling my gun backwards, so I couldn't quite aim it in as well as I wanted there. Kron's pulling forward a little bit once again, but he's distracted. Okay, so can't really do a whole lot here, can I? Um, M4 takes a shot from one of their TDs. Good to know. Their TVP is running away, but they have TDs back there. Honestly, I think I'm pretty useless here for now, especially with our conf panzer getting kind of yolo by the 62 way. I think I'm going to go back and kill the 62 way. Logically speaking, I'll provide the best support to my teammates by doing that. Oh yeah, the TVP is coming in for our, for our conf panzer as well. Our 268 is providing support, which is good. Um, the VK90 is now full sending it, however, so maybe I can put some shells into him because I am spotted anyways. May as well see. Let's aim a shell into the front of his turret, maybe. Running grammar, I definitely cannot pen him frontally, but our IS-4 is getting YOLO'd here, so I want to see if there's any way for me to help him. Drive wheel on the E5. We do track him in place for the time being. Very cool. Let's see if we can hit another drive wheel shot on him. This one does pen fully. Very nice. I think he's out of repair kits here. We should be able to kind of perma track him here, even if he tries shooting at me. It's not the end of the world. All right, so he's going to pull back for a second here. It's aim for that drive wheel again. Just keep it this E5 perma track. This is, after all, what the T1, uh, the Leopard one's best at. But unfortunately, our VK gets himself tracked in the open. He's actually going to let their E5 escape. Very good plays, dude. Um, let's put another shell into the E5. Ay, 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 man. I don't know what our VK did there, but he kind of just ruined my ability to perma track that E5 for full HP. Okay. Kron's temporarily distracted. 268, TVP are kind of behind. I'm going to go for the T125. I have his whole rear. It's put an HG into him. 400 damage. Still, that's a Kron. That's a Jaeger looking my way. Let's pull back from that. All right, no shell to this dude. Jaeger is a bit distracted. Jaeger has just fired. Hopefully, this dude can pick up that kill there. I want to use my max roll, hopefully, on this dude soon. Good, 400 damage. Okay, you know what? Playing support works really well the moment the enemy team YOLO'd. So, I'm fine with that. Let's put another shell to this man's here. We're going to get ready to deal with this Kronwagen. He is, after all, the last tank left in the middle here. So, let's just YOLO in for Kron, get our farm in, and call it a GG from there. Okay. Hello, Monsieur Kronwagen. I hope you're doing well. Let's put one shell into you. Let's pull back a little bit. We didn't do a whole lot of damage here, but at least we're going to get a decent amount of farm out, hopefully before it's too, too late. But no. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll get an extra shot out. A shot out. There we go. All right. Well, that kind of worked out in the end. Uh, I kind of wish the VK had not blocked my perma track on their E5 and had instead just killed the VK90, which he could have shot on the side. But, oh well. Uh, you know, players will do what they want. E4 played a good game. IS-4 staying alive. That dude did a really good job not dying there in that YOLO. And I was able to provide a little bit of assistance for 3,500 or so damage. All right. He's got the right make up for it. Uh, what? What? Wait, what are you, what are you talking about? Gonna, all right. Go fat to take care. 
We might be back later. Killer Clownfish, good seeing you. You think Damage 30B would be good with 375 Alpha? Bruh. It would be busted with 375 Alpha. What do you mean? <laughs> yes. Make a tank that explodes really sucks. I concur with this with this argument. Enemy team, 50, E50M with a lot of games. Projeto and Bashathion 25T. Now, I do have support from some of my allies here. E50M is playing super aggro above, and unfortunately, the auto ricochet means we weren't unable to pen him there. But we do now know where the enemy team's object V4 is. Now, I can't really shoot the object V4 or pen him from back here. But it looks like he's kind of running away, which is cool. This is good news for me. Um, I just need someone to take corner. Let's see if we can spot up that bat shot to yawn real quick. Put a quick shot to the bat shot to yawn. Very good. 340 damage into him. Not 100% sure what Le Bachatillon is doing. Spot ready cow just so I don't have to aim too long in case they have a grill in the back or something waiting to shoot at me. Bachatillon losing all of his hit points here in a few seconds. Pop another quick shell into him. Enemy Z75 gets spotted. Here's a good time to probably pop that adrenaline. Might take a shot from this man, but let's put a quick snap shell into him. 380. I mean, look at this gun. You do not get a more accurate high DPM gun in the game in tier 10. Very unlucky I didn't manage to track the 75 there. But I'll still take it all the same. Not able to hit that cell as well. So the Gorilla 15, I believe, just shot HE at our 50 TP. So I should be good to start pro progressing a little bit more on the Progetto here or the V4. Let's see Let's see who decides to pull forward first. Progetto being a little bit aggro here. Let's put a shot onto his turret. Pull back from that V4 just in case he gets more aggro. Very nice. Uh, V4 is getting a little bit more aggro here. Let's put an AP shell through the front of his tank here. Try to pull back away from him. Very nice. He's losing all his HP. That's why the V4 Loki kind of sucks, isn't it? All right. Maybe a hat shot into him. Oh, man. He is so unlucky. E50M just kind of tunneling me, but that's a bad idea because, well, you're kind of losing this flank now, buddy. Put a hat shot into him. Unfortunately, with the gun depression, he is going to be a bit difficult for me to pen, but not to fear. I have a V4 to kill. So let's kill the V4 and pull back from the V50M. He managed to debate him another time. The V50M, I think, is going to realize very, very shortly here that he can't stick around for too much longer. Another shell into the V50M. Fifth Kampf fans are putting a shell into him. We're just kind of brawling it out on this corner here. Let's put another shell into this dude. E50M did not have a very gamer experience as he got absolutely annihilated on this flank. All right, that just leaves the two TDs and the E75. Not too bad. E75 is going to get lit up here in a moment. So let's put a quick shell into him before that happens. And let's go YOLO down the Gorilla 15. There's the Gorilla 15. Just pop that reticle calibration for those unmoved shots. Boom, 365 damage into this dude. He can't really hide from me all that well. Let's put another shell into him. We are safe from the SU for now, which is good. He goes down. SU about to be lit up himself, so I won't be able to farm him out too well myself. There we go, 321. Almost 5,000 damage dealt that game. Just chilling in the dunes, going ham. And yes, I didn't have all that much pen. True. But I was able to play pretty, pretty, pretty aggressively and just debate the corners. Like the DPM, the accuracy on this tank is so absolutely insane. We were easily able to pull out some high damage that game. Very, very good indeed. Fanis, what do you prefer, aggressive or passive? Well, if you've been watching the last few games, you'll notice that I have not really been sniping all that much on my Leopard. I've been playing pretty aggressive. Now, aggressive doesn't mean YOLOing into the whole enemy team or suiciding and saying, woo, I was aggressive. Uh, aggressive just means not kind of sitting back and sniping all the time. I, I tried being passive on a game of canal and understandably my allies died and i didn't really even get that much extra damage out so i prefer semi-aggressive but passive when i have the farm and it's necessary all right enemy 50m is crossing through the mid enemy cuff panzer 50t is spotting up here it's me a sheridan and another medium tank that's the same e50m from last battle and we do spot the whole of the enemy's heavy tanks headed in towards the dunes here so red flag firstly rmx 30 is suicide yellowing Secondly, my team is outnumbered seven, I mean six versus three. So we gotta run away from here. We don't really have any options. We gotta get out of here. Waffenträger, you gotta run, buddy. We're gonna have to kill this E4. Now, our three wandering Andes in town here, the, the E100, M4, and 405, have currently not done a single shot of damage to the enemy team's lovely T124 that's by himself. So yeah, good, good game by those dudes. I will have to do this myself on the T124. I'll have to take care of him myself. Now the E5 gets absolutely nuked by a waffle and I believe Sheridan there. Finally, the E4 is losing some hit points, which is good. Confines are being quite aggressive here. T125 being a little aggro. And we should be able to get right on behind this T124 without any kind of significant issues. Put a quick shot into the rear of his tank here. And well, that doesn't quite work out at all. However, E4 is distracted. Let's put one track shot into him, keeping them in place. Let's keep an eye on what their team is doing. 
Very cool indeed. All right, this 60 TP should be giving me some easy side shots here in just a moment, but no, I don't quite have the gun depression to work this position. Anyway, comp fans are being quite aggro. Let's put a quick shot on the hand, 305. He actually outrolls me, even though I have like 50 more alpha damage, so is the way of life. Put another shot to this dude, okay. Alrighty, we still kind of need someone to spot up our spawn just a little bit here. Let's push onto the C5, there we go. Sadly, my blind shots were not pens. Um, our Sheridan can hold here, our 45 can hold here. The problem that we'll have to deal with is that 50 TP and 54 coming in from behind. So, let's see if we can deal with that together. I don't know if the Sheridan's gonna provide assistance, but the 54 is overextended. 340 into him, that's what we like to see. There we go, we bit a shell out of him. We should be able to put a, another shell into this dude. 396, okay, let's see if we can bait another shell out of this dude. He's not really backing out in the safest way. Boom, another shot into him, very good. He has now low hit points. Uh, the Sheridan, unfortunately, on my team is also low. Now, the main concern that I have, enemy's comp fans are 50T. That tank has pretty much the same DPM as me. And he's on the opposite rails. Five minutes for Sheridan and 405. The, they really shouldn't have committed to the rails once we cleared the mid. That was a bit of a mistake. All right, let's see if their comp fans are back here somewhere. There's the comp fans are. Okay, I'm going to go back to our rails and crossfire them out from behind. She's the only play I can make here. All right. I am currently spotted. Now, the Kampf Panzer has a ton of armor, so I really don't think there's a whole lot I'll be able to do to him in a one versus one situation here. Uh, let's pen run through the front of the turret, at least. There we go. First shot does go in. I believe this dude thinks he has the DPM on me, so I put another shell into him. Very nice indeed. If he rams me, this is game over for him. Very nice. He does get taken out, so we do manage to kill this dude, at least, and that was really clutch for me and my allies to hopefully win this game. Oh, E50M's looking my way. Let's pull back for a second. Okay, 340, I believe that means the 50M has just fired his gun off. There's a 60 TP in the middle of the map, so let a key shell up. Can't quite pen that. I'm gonna pull back. Hopefully he didn't spot me up from here. He is going for me, not the Yo. Oh, the Yo is with me. I see how it is. Okay. This E50M needs to die first. But unfortunately, our our homie over here, let's put a quick shot to the E50M. Our Yo just like bought it out all of his HP for no reason. I think I played to the best of my ability this game, but our Yo kind of done messed up big time here. He should not have lost all those hit points there. 60 TP's out of the fight, E50M's in the mid by himself. I gotta be fast about this. Firstly, I don't want to die, but most importantly... Nice, he makes him a one-shot, okay. Okay, let's see what this E50M does. Oh, no, I'm not, I should be unspotted for now. I am spotted now, I'm sure. Nope, I'm not. Catch him off guard, heat shell, nice. All right, now I get to 1v1 the 60 TP on the enemy team. Let's see if he pulls back to try and shoot at me. Not quite. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna act like we're running as far away as possible. I don't know which dunes are best to 1v1 the 60 TP, but first let's try and keep them lit up from, from here. Hmm, that's not gonna quite work, is it? Okay, there's the 60 TP. Let's think about this a little. I have two minutes and 20 seconds to catch this dude off guard. Sadly, the 60 TP has good, good, um, he has really good uh, traverse rate, so I don't know if I can completely catch him off guard. Alrighty, I want to be one of the century. I don't like these dunes so much, they're pretty shallow. I'm going to try and aim for track shots on the 60 TP. That's going to be my first goal. He could be coming from my right, or he could have gone into the ditch, one of the two. If he comes from my right, I can just drop down. I'd rather engage him in this cluster of dunes here, because that way I can track him on the hill if possible. Okay, he does go into the cap. Interesting. We should be able to outspot him pretty easily from back here. So let's see what I can do about that. I'm use this hill as a little bit of cover from the 60 TP. And let's see, where you at, buddy? Please don't tell me he's in the bush. Is, did I get spotted for that? I did not. Okay, he's not in the bush. Oh, there he is. He's over here. Interesting. Spot one shot to him. AP shot. Very nice. I don't know if he spotted me up there. It appears he cannot spot me up from over there. Let's put another shell into him. Sadly, that one doesn't go through. 60 TP has really bad camo rating. Interesting. Okay, which way is he headed now? Okay, I will be able to outspot him now from our rails. Only a minute left on this game. I'm going to try and bait him into committing to pushing me somewhere. This is the only way we're going to win this. We have 59 seconds to kill this dude. And baiting him into pushing me is the only way we're going to make this happen. I don't go for draws, I go for dubs. So, with a minute left, with 40 seconds left, we're gonna have to try and catch this dude off guard here. You managed to slightly catch him off guard, ever so slightly. Let's put a track shot towards him. Not able to get the track shot here. 
He is counter traversing ever so slightly here. Try and catch him off guard. We get the ricochet. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Getting the bait. Tracking him in the open. All right. This is a clutch and a half, I think. Let's put another track shot in case we low roll. We low roll. We low roll. But we're traversing. We have the traverse. Oh. Eh. Thanks for the hours of entertainment. Eh. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't go for draws. If you're running out of time, just full send it with all hope of winning. And it and you can win games. That game was stressful. The most stressful part of that battle was when I rolled 330 and I left him on three hit points and his gun was right above my engine deck. He, if he'd reloaded like a millisecond faster there, I would have been dead. Nice little ace tanker. Very fire game. Thanks for the hours of entertainment. A now 79. Thank you so much for the donation. Perfectly timed for that rather epic game there. Oh man, <laughs> that was that was uh, that was a stressful game. But those are the games I love, dude. Those games get your heart pounding. That was great. <sighs> this is truly the quintessential fatness stream, <laughs> with paid actors included. Let's go. What's reach that 300 like mark in light of that rather epic clutch there? Thank you guys. Thank you, GG. Well played. Yeah, indeed. Just outplayed. Outplayed. Yeah, well, luckily, I had to try and bait that 60 TP. Like, once again, you don't have much time to win in a situation like that. If you just hide behind the building, you're never gonna get the dub out. So you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta full send it. Oh. Oh, this Leo is unlucky. What what unfortunate timing for him to get tracked by me there. Okay, cool. So the enemy team have a lot of meds. They have already capped to be, it looks like. I'm gonna spot the crossing up just a little bit here. Wait, whoever was on B got off of B. Interesting play. All right, enemy Leo has been quite aggro. Let's track him once again. Very nice shot. Very cool, very cool. And let's see, is that 54 going to give me a shell here? Nice shot to the 54 as well. We're going to some decent farm out, but eh, intuition's telling me once this 50 t leopard shoots at someone, I need to run away. So there's going to be tanks coming in on my rear. Let's YOLO into the middle here and start clearing out the enemy's tanks. Let's put a quick shot to that dude. We just need to kill this T-22 and Leopard as quickly as possible because they have a lot of heavy tanks just kind of full sending it here. Um, that shot getting a little bit lower than I was expecting, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Very nice quick clear on this flank. There's 60 TPs behind us. And it looks like someone's capping C cap out as well. Interesting. I think what we can do here is first, let's see if we can find out who's on C. Okay, it's the Yo. There's the IS-7 as well. I am currently unspotted, I believe. Let's spot that reticle calibration just for a second here. See if we can get the side of the 60 TP, 403. Very nice, as we like to see. Looks like they're getting ready to just kind of full send it around the corner here. Um, come on, IS-7, at least full send it. Very nice, 60 TP just fired. Very cool, which means he is going to go down very, very shortly here. Pick up a quick kill on him. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Rattel, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. I special to the IS-7 as well. This game is pretty much over, so I'm going to farm out the Yo. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is just a, a damage-chasing farm fest, really, at this point, because their, their team is just getting annihilated. Here's one other shell into this Yo here. That puts me at 3,000 damage so far for this game. We're going to put another shell into this dude. 704 about to bop him. He gets bopped by someone. I don't think it was a 704. It was a Sheridan. Let's put a quick shell into this dude. Just leaves the IS-7 and T-100 LT on the enemy team. That's all that's left for us here. So, let's get ready to start farming these dudes out as well. IS-7, give me a little bit of side armor. I got ratted! I got ratted on! No, don't block my damage! Dang team's low. I'm the cop as you've been seeing. Dang team's low. Urban, thanks for the donation. And Rattel, once again, thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it. Is it Rattel or Raytel? Uh, I, let me know the proper pronunciation for your team, by the way. <laughs> Urban Raider as well. Thank you. 3800 damage dealt. Very, very fast game. Gun works simply sublime that battle. That's what we like to see in a Leopard 1. <laughs> lag. Yes. Smash the like button. Uh, did the stream lag? I, I don't. Well, my connection's good, so hopefully not too bad. Fatness by making him skinniness. No, fatness by making him skinniness. No, please don't do this to me. <laughs> we love paid actors. Ah, don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, well that was a good game. Uh, not not that one. That Desert Sands game was really fun. I had a lot of fun that game. I'm still like just relaxed from that experience. Okay, ooh, mines, TVP, Leo. We have the good spawn of mines. I'm gonna try to show you how to second line the, t the Leopard one on mines. This only works out in two ways. 
One, their TVP and their Leopard do not take kill control away from us. Two, we have our heavy tank support us instead of just YOLOing into encounter cap. So far, the second requirement is met. First requirement still a bit of a, 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 a still not known. All right, we're gonna try and track this Leo on his way up. Or TVP, not quite able to track him. I am expected to be just being really aggressive for me here. I don't know how well that's gonna work for him. Let's put a shell into him. Very good, 320 damage into this dude. Sound of four, also pulling up quite aggro here. Let's put another shell towards this dude. Not quite able to hit him. 50B, as you can see, wants me. All right, so the really important one that I was hoping that they wouldn't take kill control unfortunately has happened. Their team has taken hill control. We do get a snapshot into the 50B. The strength of this tank is that it snapshots so well. Okay, I didn't realize the 113 was just going to stare at me, so that was a misplay on my part. 704 being quite aggressive here. It snapshots so well that you can bait players into trying to shoot at you, and they're just unable to hit you because you're just... Well, you're just so fast, right? 60 TP losing a few hit points here to the E75. E75 not quite giving me shot just yet. It looks like the TVP has been quite aggressive. Let's put a track shot onto him. Track him in the open here. We managed to avoid the Leo while we're at this. Enemy Leo being quite aggressive himself. Let's see if he does try and pull forward on me just a little bit. Shell into the top of his tank. TVP gets taken out. Very nice. They got a little over aggressive trying to peek me there. And now the criteria for taking the hill, I think, is confirmed. I think we're solid. I think we're in a really good place here. Looks like all these dudes have just fired to put another shot towards the 704. Never mind, the 113 seems to be holding a shot for me. Not really sure what these dudes are doing. Oh my gosh. Can you just... That's 60 TP. Can you at least just keep this Leo off of me? That's all I ask. Okay, I can hold here just fine. I don't have to do much. 60 TP ain't doing really much to keep that Leo off of me anyway, so... Let's just wait till they start. Okay, die 60 TP. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's put a quick shell to the 113. Match the beta shell out of him here. This means I can get ready to start priming for the Leo 1. Looks like the Fosh and the enemy team is pulling back a little bit from, from the side. All right. Um, nice, our Jaeger is coming to support us. Once this Jaeger starts getting aggro on the hill, I think we're golden. Okay. Come on, Jaeger. Let's go. Our E5 is a one shot. E5 does manage to beta shell out of the 113 here. Let's put a hash shot towards the 113. Dang, those 113 hatches are tiny, aren't they? Okay. No, unfortunately, E5 dies in the most essential position for me. Leo's pulling back a little. Main kind of issue that I foresee right now is we do have a Fosh pulling in. Okay, not behind us, but from our side here. That's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought he was going to pull in behind. All right, let's get ready to put a shell into the Fosh's hatch. Boom, 375. Very good. 113, 704, Fosh. They're all stuck here. Fosh getting max rolled for 1,000. Goodbye, Mr. Foshy Poo. 113 getting super aggro to try and shoot me here. I'm not sure if that's a great idea, but he does get away with it. Unfortunately, our Waffenträger appeared to be on reload there for just a split second. Another enemy tank gets taken down. 113 pulling up. Let's take his tracks off and pull forward. That way we don't die to him. And then we can just pull behind him. So we weren't able to farm a ton. But we were be able to be pretty useful as a kind of second line support tank. You know, 3,500 or so. If we get one more shot, we'll get about 3,800 damage. And I'll be pretty happy with that result. 113 hopefully won't have the traverse to keep up. But I'm dead here. I don't really care. It's game over anyways with the Jaeger and stuff like that. So we got as much damage as... <laughs> Uh, Lady Maria, congratulations, member for seven months. We managed to get an okay amount of damage. My PC broke, so here I am now. Button, the extraordinaire mod. 3,800, not bad. Not bad for frontlining on mines when you don't have a ton of options. The key to playing a Leo in a situation like that is wait till the enemy is pretty much distracted before poking them. This should be pretty logically. And be really good at snapshotting. That's your key criteria. Because that's the only way you can play fairly aggressively on the entrance of the hill to mines. One thing you'll notice positioning wise, I went to that rock. That rock is an extraordinarily strong position if the enemy team do not commit anyone to the lighthouse. So if they don't have anyone spotted going lighthouse, go to that rock. You can maintain a crossfire both on the main hill if you lose it and the main heavies pushing up the mid, which is what I did that game really. And uh, the good news is, is if you sit perfectly by that rock, you cannot get shot from either the hill or the enemy's heavy med side. So do take advantage of that if you can. I don't know if that spotted me, but should be careful just in case it did. Did not get spotted, but they do send two heavy tanks down into the heavy alley here. Vicar is spotted in the mid. In case they have a 183 or something there, it's like a blind shot. I believe that hit dirt, so we don't have to worry so much about that. Um, they could have one in the bushes maybe. It took another blind shot. I think what I'm gonna do now, so we are on um, Naval Frontier. What I'm going to do is slightly pull back. Okay, 54 and Vickers are over here. However, they still have an unspotted TVP. The grill could provide support. The heavy side is getting abolished. There's the TVP up top. I would love to take care of this TVP. Is he pushing straight for me? I hear him shooting. He shot three times. He's fired four times. 
Oh, he, now he's fired four times. Okay, he's on a full reload. We can just DPM the, the daylights out of this dude, right? So aim for a track shot here. Unfortunately, the track shot doesn't quite go in. But we will at least bring him down to a two shot to me, which is really important. And if this grill tries to pull forward to shoot at me, we can pop a shell into him and pull back. Now my heavies are getting just annihilated on the heavy side, sadly. This girl looks like he's more interested in pre-aiming than doing much else. So what I'm going to have to do here, we're going to have to pull across a little bit. Get ready for the TBP. Make him a one-shot. We're going to have to kill this TBP first, then we're going to have to deal with the Vickers second. So, Mr. TBP is trying to run away. He actually makes the great escape. Good for him. Um, it looks like the enemy is 5041. Vickers are... Oh, their Vickers came back for me? Oh, this game is over for me then. Yeah, this game is over, because the girl's just probably going to HE my rear if I try running away here. So, what I'm going to do instead is let's get ready for their Vickers. Right, you don't want to poke me, buddy? Alright, let's see. The girl's not on my left. Just put a quick snapshot to the Vickers. Let's pull back from him. Grill is pushing in from behind, kind of as I had predicted here. And so let's run away from the grill, if at all possible, and the TVP. Running, 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 running. All right, we do take a headshot, unfortunately, but we at least have managed to avoid that dude. But nah, the TVP is just going to shoot me once or twice. It's GG for me. I did the best I could with the team I was given. This team was absolutely abysmal. I have absolutely no clue. I'm looking where they all died. 50 TP, Jagdpanzer, 121 died in the ditch. The grill died in the TV position. The 752 just died in Narnia. Um, yeah, we were we were definitely not gonna win that match. No matter what I did, even if I had even if I had managed to kill the Vickers, the 704, and the TVP by myself, when your two tier 10 TDs do zero, your two heavy tanks do like 900 or less. Yeah, I mean, except for our 183 who played okay, everyone on my team did sub 900 damage, so two zero damage. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the dub there. Is lagging is good now? Oh, is it? I didn't notice. <laughs> Hello, Vickers from Poker. I would have been fine there, I think, if the TVP hadn't gotten a shell into me. I don't know. The DPM worked well. Anyways, we're going to go mid here. Unfortunately, that last game, really, there's not much you can do. Their heavy tanks just pushed really aggressively into the corner, and my heavies were just like, yeah, they weren't doing much. And, of course, our 1-2-1, one one, instead of helping support the flank there, kind of just suicided in mid. Could have been a dub if the 1-2-1 one had come with me on C, though. All right, here's what we're going to do. Spot up the mid. They have a Leo. They have a 200 LT. Unfortunately, it got spotted up right off the bat. Maybe not what I wanted to do here. Enemy Leo in the mid. Let's put 411 into this dude. Nice kind of early farm. You should be cautious over poking this position. Okay, at least we know where the 183 is on the enemy team. All right, enemy 200 LT. Let's put a snapshot into him as well. Leo's gun handling is great for that. The enemy T124 is now spotted up. I don't know if he's looking at me or not. I don't believe he is. Put a hat shot into him. Pull back from their Leo. We're casually farming this outside here. But the I-7 is like, nah, you've had enough free farm, Leo. I'm coming to deal with you, buddy. T100 LT trying to run a what? Where did I pen the I-7? Someone explain. I, I am big confusion. Did I pen like the front of his turret? I don't know how I pen the I-7 there, but I, I will happily take that. Did I ricochet off the T100 LT into the I-7's back or something? I don't know. Now the kill shot on this dude. I love playing this outside lane. It is very toxic. All right, let's put a quick shot into the front of his turret. That's that Leo accuracy for you. Very, very saucy indeed. The Kron wants to shoot at me. Oh, he does hit me. I don't know why he's sitting sideways when he has all those things above him, but um, so is the way of Z tunnel. All right, looks like Mr. I-7 trying to get safe here for a second. Not really much more I can do this game. It's already pretty much won. I mean, this T-100 LT can poke on me all he likes, but he's he's not going to kill me in the end. What, you going to poke me again, buddy? I dare you. I dare you. Poke me. I'm spotted for 20 seconds. He's spotted for like... for uh, He'll only be spotted for like 10, so... Okay, T-100's on A. We know the 1A3 is covering him. Ooh, hello. Let's see. Is the 1A3 pre-aiming? He's not. Let's get a shot to the 1A3. Very nice. This game is already over, isn't it? Type 71's coming back for support. I'm surprised the 200LT didn't just run away there. It takes another shot to the face. Very good job, 200LT. You now have no HP left in this game. All right. Let's see. If this 183 tries to pull forward and shoot me, pull back and shoot me. Unfortunately, RMG was not in favor of me there. 183 has just fired, though. And it's just the 200 and their Hori, I suppose. Wherever he could be wandering off to. All right. 200 is making a break for it. He gets taken out. Hori might be AFK or, or something. I don't know if he shot anyone. We got almost 3k damage there. Really nice. Let's see what Mr. Hori is up to. Maybe I shouldn't YOLO in the open. Maybe he's in the corner up top here. I see a broken wall. He's up there. Maybe. Right? Was that caused by him? Yeah. The Hori has to be up here somewhere. Very classic. All right. Mr. Hori's in the opens. Put one shell into his tracks. He's going to get annihilated before this game is over. 
All right, even if he kills me here, it's worth worth it. Nice. All right, maybe one more shell into him. Oh, I thought he fired. I'm so lucky. No, my 4K. I got scammed. All right. 3.9. Not a bad game. <laughs> Ricochet pen. Oh, unlucky. I have super fatness Wi-Fi. I can't even watch in 108060. Unlucky button. <laughs> All right, 3,900 damage dealt. Not bad. We managed to play frontline holdout on this map because this gun is just that good. Now, do be careful. The position you saw me take that game, if you wish to imitate imitate me, um, watch out for the TD sitting up by the buildings. You know, once the 183 got spotted out all the way going towards the regular TD bush and the E4 is pulling forward, I figured I was pretty safe to poke there on their like IS-7 and 200 and leopard and stuff but if they're not spotted just be aware you can get shot poking up sideways on that hill from there so do keep that in mind could be youtube server uh probably youtube server i don't know i have really really good packet uh not packet uh bit rate and connection and stuff like that okay so my team wants to go town i don't know why that 200 the object 907 the 54 Decided they want to go town when the enemy team have a weaker medium lineup, but so is the way of teams What I'm gonna do, okay, they already have someone on B cap. That would maybe be the Sheridan That means their whole team could potentially be headed here. There's the E50M. I think I'm gonna take a corner. Okay, it's not the E50M Let's see if we can spot up anyone on A. They have a heavy tank over here. That's for sure This is quite aggressive of me. If we can catch someone off guard, it might be worse. Not really sure who capped B, but it looks like their whole team is in mid for the time being. Okay. Let's see. Who was on B? Oh, it was an IS-7. Interesting. So take his tracks off. Pull back a little bit here. If he tries to get super aggro on me, I can just track him again. Uh, let's see. It looks like he's not quite considering that. Oh, okay. Where does that ricochet? Hello? Oh my gosh. It ricochet like off of his tracks here. Another track shot into this dude. IS-7 getting a little bit lucky. I don't think I out-reload him here. Where are my allies at? Dude, I thought you guys were with me. Come on, VK, start pushing the I-7 here. I-7 can't sit stationary all the day. There we go. Let's put another shot to his rear while he's distracted for a little bit. Very nice. Okay, I-7 should be going down pretty quickly here now. Okay, another shell to him. And just keep an eye on my right and make sure we don't get crossfed out. It looks like their team's being quite aggressive up the mids. One other shell to this I-7. I-7 might try and shoot at me. So I'm not sure if he's rotating back for that or not. Let's put another shell into him. Nice 450 max roll there. Nice. He gets yeeted by our PK. He finally gets taken out, which is pretty important for me and my allies. Push onto the patent here. Try and pull away from him. Hopefully we don't take a shot here. We unfortunately take a very high roll from him, but he is now a one shot. So he should get taken down quickly. Puts me at 2,700 damage dealt so far this game. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeageru kind of pulling forward, but nothing he can do. Nice. Okay. So E50M Sheridan are behind us. The 183 is probably loaded, which means I probably shouldn't poke out sideways to him. But you know what? Never mind. 183 is a bit tunnel vision. Okay, I think he shot. I think he shot. I, I believe he shot. All right, let's put another shot to their 183. Very nice. One, oh, he didn't shoot. He was just aiming like an absolute giga chad. Okay, let's pick up a kill on this dude. I, I suck. I, sh I should quit that game. What's up, 704? E50M and Sheridan are pushing in from behind us. Let's go. Let's full send it, boys. I want me some damage before this game is over is looking like a fine and dandy opportunity. Let's put one shell to D50M's tracks here. Sheridan is kind of looking for me, but I won't worry about him too much. E50M's dead anyways. Oh my good, oh my gosh, Sheridan. You got absolutely yeeted there, brother. Oh goodness, okay. How much damage did I get? I don't think it was super high. Oh, 3.8. 3.8 seems to be my average for today's session. Not bad. 3.8 for 23 games. I will take that. It's actually a pretty solid session so far. So, yeah. Personally, like I stated at the start of the stream, passive or aggressive, it's up to you to decide how you prefer to play your Leopard 1. For the most part, I'm fairly aggressive with a little bit of passive mixed in there if I see an opportunity where I can farm for free. But I try to create positions, create uh, situations where I can deal damage. The kind of opposite of that is when you're sniping, you're being passive, you're waiting for the enemy team to create situations where you can shoot at them, whereas I kind of actively try and create those situations where I can deal that damage. So, keeping that in mind is when I usually take positions when I'm pushing, when I'm making those plays, I'm thinking about, okay, can I deal damage here? Will I be safe? Stuff you want to think about in your Leo, especially if you're playing it a little bit more aggressively. Oh my gosh, really? I should stop, I should stop uh, talking about how I play the tank and focus more on my own gameplay. <laughs> I usually drive on the inside. I can't believe the Sheridan went for that play there and got away with it. Alright, 200 LT. 
Object 140. Sheridan gets yeeted for trying the same play twice. Unlucky, brother. Uh, 200 LT. These dudes are both, like, super low profile, so it's not the best tanks for me to be fighting right now. Especially the Object 140. Let's put a quick shell into his turret. Very nice. Object 140 really doesn't have any turret armor. Or E50M just absolutely sent it. Like an absolute chad. But, well, our TVP sending it too. Okay, can someone please explain what on earth is going on in this game? I have absolutely no clue what's going on here. We just lost like two tanks in a few seconds there. Put another shell into this man's here. Um, well, that was very Rattatomous Prime by both teams, I think. All right, Object 140 trying to cross up again. Let's get another farm shot into him. You know, this actually isn't ending up too bad for me because their teammates are like at least dying for this. Oh, sure, they both hit that. Get out of here. Okay. Let's see, Object 140, not quite able to shoot him. I know there's a 200 LT behind me. Allies, are you going to help me out over here? Allies, are you going to do anything? Oh my gosh, our heavies are all just sitting in Narnia. I should never have taken those shots from the Sheridan there. What is this YOLO? E50M, TVP, Object 268, throwing the game so hard. What on earth was that YOLO by these dudes? I don't know what they're thinking. They just YOLO'd it to seven tanks, the three of them, one by one. It's not like they all push together as well. Oh my gosh, that game was just lost with the start with a team like this. <laughs> and our heavies were too baited shooting the, the IS-4 and the E-5 and the Chieftain to help us out. If the heavies had pushed with us to the corner, we probably would have been fine, but oh my gosh. Well, that was an interesting team. I will admit, I didn't get to farm anything that game. That was just way too wacky of a game there. I should have pulled out way earlier, but E-50M, one shot of damage. This dude's from R. He's a 64% win rate. One Earth made him think it was a good idea to YOLO into four tanks when he had half hit points. I, I don't understand players, man. Sometimes, like, statistically, R is a decent clan with decent players. I don't know why he threw his TVP away to, to do two shots of damage. <laughs> oh, that was a meme game. Sorry, bro. RNG was just not on your side. I told you, sure, Bonks Leo. You just got lucky, bro. Then again, you did get bonked last game for over like 1100 when you were trying to run away from me, so... <laughs> Will you ever get tired of stream sniping? I'm just curious. Because <laughs> that's all you ever do. Okay, we're gonna go spot up the crossing here. Oh, there's their 183. Let's pop the ready calibration. Make sure this one hits. Nice, it does hit. Enemy Sheridan spotting up me aggressively here. 183 shouldn't be able to shoot me if I push in towards this corner. And with this gun handling, I should be good. Okay. Sheridan getting a very lucky shot into the, that tank there, but he also is way overextended, so I don't mind making this trade here because he's going to die as a result of it. Oh, I missed my fire button. If I take another shot from this dude, I'm going to be mad. Oh, nice RNG. <laughs> Come on, Sheridan. Why don't you push in and help me out a little bit here, buddy? Oh my... Okay, this armor profile is complete trash. What are you talking about? How is this dude pen that? What? Oh my goodness, actually scammed. How is that a ricochet, man? Oh my goodness. I knew the Sheridan had a lot of armor on the rear of its tank. Now I'm getting shot up the rear, very nice. Um, I knew the Sheridan has like armor across the box on the rear, but the front should be an easy pen. All right, the E6 has a bit of the tunnies, a bit of the tunny tunnels. So we're gonna pull a little bit away from this dude. Alrighty. Getting scammed that game with the bounces on the Sheridan. And of course the Sheridan hitting all of his shots there. Uh, let's see. Quick shell into this dude. Very nice. He's gonna go down. The 183 is already down. The Fosh is low. Their TVP could be anywhere, but I can take one shot from the TVP, hopefully without dying. I don't have to worry too much about him just yet. Okay, there's the TVP. And there's the Yo. Okay, TVP's only through our spawns. Put a shell into him. Oh, yes. Yeah, shell velocity going burr there. Okay. Sheridan's just kind of YOLOing in. That's to be expected. TVP's almost dead. T95E6 just fired a shell. I will put a quick kill shot into this dude. Very cool. Not a farm game at all. An absolute sweep. This time the enemy team going for the crazy YOLOs here. Put another shell into this dude. Alright. Can we HE the rear of the YO? Yes, we sure can. Let's get that HE. Nice. Alright. At least we'll get about 3k out. That was a fast game. <laughs> Magic Sherry with E75. I know, dude. That was really annoying. That Sheridan was so lucky. He played... Like, he didn't try to escape or run away. He just sat there. I got saved by RNG. I should have only taken one shot from him there. Ay ay ay. <laughs> he still did top uh top three on his team. Oh boy. That was a pretty fast game, but at least we did manage to win there.
Not really much I could do in that situation, I guess. I was kind of hoping our Sheridan would just pull up next to me and bop him, because he could have done that very easily, but he kind of just held mid for now. All right, let's see what we got here. T100, double Sheridans. Um, Gorilla, Waffle, K91. Uh, my team should be okay. They won't be able to hold mid, but I'll take it for them. The good news is in this matchup, the enemy team do not have a lot of heavies. So I don't have to worry too much about that. Let's see what the Sheridan does. Sheridan's going for the crossing here. Let's put a quick shell into him. 340 damage. Very nice indeed. He tries to full commit to corner. I shall make sure he dies pretty quickly. So let's see. Sheridan is being a little aggressive. Another shell into him. 304. Very nice indeed. If he tries to pull forward to shoot at me, we can definitely deal something with them. Okay, let's pull back before that MXT 120 gets any bright ideas. Sheridan getting yeeted there. Losing all of his hit points already, which is pretty, pretty pog if I say so myself. Um, gonna give me another shot. Boom, 450 max roll. And uh, yeah, this Sheridan's having a, a very unfortunate game as I believe he's already dead. All right, let's put a quick shot to that Hori. Shoots her HE at me. This game's already a dub though, because the enemy team just did the, 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 the very bad play of sending your whole team into the back of spawn and not moving them. So we should win this game very easily. I'm just going to go YOLO for farming damage at this point. All right, 50 TP. I hope you're ready. One shot to you, buddy. Would you like to put it forward and give me some more damage? I would happily accept. All right, 24. Not quite in the position where I can shoot at him. And I'm expected to be really wants me. Okay, we at least bounced a shell. <laughs> or got ricochet pen there. Here's what I can do. Or he's down low. 50 TP is down low. 50 TP can't really YOLO me. E4 is just YOLOing across a bit here. Uh, let's see if we can do anything about Mr. E4. Let's put a quick Shondo on. 346. Bit of a low roll, but he gets taken down. Very pog. All right, the 50 TP has just fired his gun. Tried to hatch snipe him. Not, not quite. This game is already over at this point. So, yeah, I guess that's just a GG to the enemy team. <laughs> 50 B really wants me, so he's going to poke a 183 to try shooting me once, and then he dies as a result. Very nice. 183, I believe, may try and go for me here. So far, he hasn't, but it's a, it's a, it's a possibility. Okay. What an absolute, absolute steamroll of a battle that was, huh? No way. Where did he hit that? Okay, I didn't think he could... Did he pen hash through my side? Ah, it's okay. It was game over anyways. <laughs> I barely poked up there. I didn't think he was actually going to be able to shoot me all the way, except for the turret. So I was thinking maybe a low roll to AP, but it's over anyways. Very fast game. Oh man, is that why? You, is that why, is that why, what they call karma? Yes, potato, it is. <laughs> What's the next stream? I wonder. I, I still have to decide that. I do have to cover the 100 sometime. Did we get okay damage out that game? 33. It wasn't as high as I wanted. I couldn't farm end game because they had a lot of tanks just holding spawn, doing nothing, and just bleeding out to all my allies. Even though I got a lot of farm initially, like 2k. After that, it was a pretty slow battle. All right, type 71, 200 LT, double TDs, lots of heavies, object 84. Now, the 200 and object don't have good gun depression. I think instead of going heavy side, I'm going to try my luck in mid this time. Uh, but I don't think I'll stay committed the whole time. And over peaking is you know, something you don't want to do. Let's reset through the like mark, by the way, guys. We are getting pretty close. Fat, is it too distracting to have your microphone in front of you the whole time? Uh, just a little bit, but this is how we get the best audio quality out, right? For streaming. So it's, it's big brain. All right, object 84. Oh, yes. What a beautiful shot into that man's so there. E4 temporarily is spotted. Waffentrigger also spotted. I just put a snapshot towards him. Not quite able to hit that. Let's watch out for that E4. And, um, oh my gosh, the Waffle just lets everyone nuke him for free. Okay, so Waffle gets just annihilated there. Uh, E4 is looking my way. Let's put a hat shot into him and pull back. Very nice. See the IS-7 pulling out just a little bit behind us here. Put a heat shell towards his lower plate and pull forward just slightly. Uh, T100 LT making a very big brain play. The one that, you know, shows you how to lose your HP pretty quickly. Let's track the IS-7. And let's get ready to push the outside. So the object, the T100 Type 71 here, are playing together. But I think we have a Type 71 at A. They can't really counter push me. The Waffentrager is still alive. Something we should keep an eye out for. But we might be able to fund this up just a little bit here. The yeah, I7's down low. Oh, Type 71 just full sending it for me. Okay, will our Type 71 be a little bit more useful now? I wonder. Okay, their Type 71 getting absolutely bopped for this. Wait, what are you guys doing? What is this tunnel? What, what on earth is this tunnel? Oh my gosh. Type 71's in their ridiculous mobility. Okay, Type 71 on our team. Do you want to help a homie out here? I just hope I don't get shot up the rear by the E4 or something. I'm just going to pull over this ridge because I don't trust my teammates. Okay. Dude. 
What are you doing? Just push it on them. Oh my gosh. Our type 71 was very much useless there. He didn't even cap A, and nor did he keep this type 71 off of me. My gosh. You just kept letting the pull forward and peek me. And of course, their whole team was in mid. Aye, aye, aye. Very gamer team sprint now. <laughs> I doubt only glitch. Wish me luck. Don't play it, buddy. It's a mistake. All right. We're pretty sure control off for now. I'm going to take the cuff Panzer for a spin while we wait for my tank to get out of game. These battles just suck. This is, this is precisely why I wanted to experiment and try taking my Leopard to mid for once. But of course, my whole team just is sitting in the middle of nowhere the whole time. We have like no map control. And the only tank that actually did take a little bit of map control did absolutely nothing to help me on the type there. So... Yeah, when, when that happens and you're stuck in mid, it really sucks. This is why I never go mid anymore. I never can recommend going mid on Kenya anymore, except if you're like a heavily armored light tank or medium or heavy. But if you're in like a lightly armored vehicle, uh, I prefer just to stick to the corners of the map. Would have been such, such a better game if I had. Anyways, this tank is pretty stupid. It has about the same DPM as a Leopard 1. It does have a lot less alpha damage, but... With insanely good DPM and high alpha damage, it can be pretty, pretty memes indeed. All right, Sheridan's going to ricochet. Oh, did I mention that this tank also has really troll armor? Because as the Sheridan is quickly finding out. Yeah, this is easily one of the most busted tier 10s of the game, if you did not know. All right, let's put track shell towards this dude, maybe. Not quite able to track him in the open. Fast shot to Yon, just kind of suicide yellowing here. Put another shell into this man's. All right, um, allied TDs nowhere to be found. All right, let's try and get the bait. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. 183, Grill, sitting in Narnia instead of actually helping out on the med flank there. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> well, th this is quite the gamer experience. Hopefully the Leopard game's over by now, though. If it's not, then we'll just wait. They're both in game. My goodness. This session is quickly turning to trash. Garbage session. <laughs> I did bring my career average up a point, though. I'll just wait for the Leo to get out of game. While I wait, I'll wait in chat. Anyways, I kind of thought... I should have double-checked that the grill was there. Kind of thought the grill was going to cover fire me, you know? Kind of thought, you know, the grill of 15 with uh, with me to spot med side was going to do something. Nope, my whole team just clusters up in the heavy alley. <laughs> oh, wow, that takes so bad. Yeah, that takes pretty epic. I mean, I almost cleared the bat chat and I maimed the Sheridan all by myself there. I just got, it was just a bit unfortunate that I wasn't able to, um, pen all my shots in the bad chat right off the bat. <laughs> Can we get an STB1 stream, please? Uh, whenever that happens. Oh my gosh, how long is it going to take you guys to finish that Leopard game? I swear, if that game ends up as a draw, <laughs> I'll be bad. Hey, we clutched up. Let's go. <laughs> Hello? Have you clutched up, Potato? Because my tank's still in queue. Let's go. Back into game as we go. <laughs> you should rank up a tank to level 50 even though it's pointless. No, I don't think I will. I don't feel like wasting 15 million credits for no reason. For a, um, for a little golden badge that says you have spammed a tank. I was uh, playing, yes, the other day. And the enemy team had a AMX-50B. I kept running into him. He was, he was ranked 50. He had 35,000 games in the AMX-50B. And every single time I saw him, he did under one clip of damage. Oh, but he's ranked 50. He's so good, right? The system is complete garbage in my opinion. All right, hello, 183. All right, getting some early shots in on the 1A3 right off the bat. Some decent spotting so far. Let's push on to the 57 while we're at it. Looks like I do have some teammates going on in towards the town here. Let's keep tracking the 57. Okay, 57 getting tracked once more. You hate to see it. Oh, man, I do love me the Leopard's gun. I just need to play my Leopard a little bit more cautiously. I think I think I got a little bit over-aggressive. 57, though. Man's just having a really bad day. He has so far been perma-tracked for most of his hit points. I almost got the full HP from this dude. Okay, what is this? Sheridan suicide you'll listen to me because that's very big brain. 1A3 now in the open. Let's put a shell into him. He goes down. Holy smokes. 13 got annihilated. Okay. So I got 2400 damage right off the bat. Dude, perma tracking takes like that 57 was so satisfying. Dude, this instantly died. Couldn't do anything about it. Shell into the leopard. Patton can't do a whole lot now. TI5 is trying to push up to support him, but really not a whole lot he can do either. One other shell into this Patton here. Looks like the WZ might be pulling around for me ever so slightly, or maybe not for me. It's put a shot into him. Very nice. This is just a farm fest for me. At this point, I just got to YOLO for some damage, as the 62A is pretty much just throwing his tank away for free here. Let's push on to the Patton. 
Very nice. WZ is throwing his tank away as well. Let's put a shell into the rear of his tank. Very cool. TI-5 is almost dead. Oh my gosh. That was 4k damage, but what a sweep game. Holy smokes. The game was... No way. The game was a minute and 40 seconds, guys. That was a minute and 40 second sweep match. What? Dude, the teams are just going crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. Right? Because we still had 515 on the clock. What was that team? Oh, wow. Big surprise. Our team lost. If I did better than half of them, I'm going to be mad. Oh, my gosh. Our VK, our E100, our uh, Grill, 183. You know, guys, if you had just come and helped me on the medium side, you wouldn't have let that Sheridan farm you for 5k, huh? Maybe don't throw away all of your map control. You just had to send the TD bushes. That was all. <laughs> it's like duck hunting. I know, right? It's crazy. Yes, ranks are trash. It doesn't even do nothing. Dude, I know. Can you please tell me how to get the tank? I can find it anywhere. Uh, communist propaganda music. Either be extremely lucky with the collect them all containers where there's like a 0.005% chance of, of getting it. Or you got that tank? I can't find it that's anywhere. Like, that's like the only way to get that tank, by the way. I'm just letting you know right now. So, well, bad chat. Really? Dude. Please learn to drive. Now I can't even spot up early on their like grill and stuff. At least I'll get their grill. Nice truck shot into him. I don't think he'll even be able to out spot me here. Going to channel to him. 340. Very nice. Oh, this girl had a bad day. Oh, this girl had a really bad day. Girl's down. No one's spotted yet anywhere else. Yeah, uh, uh, the cop finds are 50T. Really, the only way to get it, generally, usually, is by getting it through the collect them all containers or whatever. I believe it's, that's what the containers are called. But the, the chance of getting it is astronomically slim. So I do wish you luck on that if you do decide to try and get it. Oh, no. This is bad news. Okay. The enemy team is full sending it in right behind me. Run away! I'm gonna have to take corner control because my whole team didn't want to send anyone to hold the outside of the map. So we're gonna have to push the inside here. You know, on this one to one and stuff. One to one's in the open. Let's put a quick shell into him. RNG says no. The Leo, the mouse, all those dudes are pushing straight in behind us. I think I can turn back and crossfire them out if that happens. All right. The mouse, I believe, is turning back for me. Apparently, why is the mouse looking at me? I do not know. Mr. Mousy Poo, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is pretty aggressive of you, buddy. You're, you're just gonna sit there sideways to their heavy take. So, so yeah, yeah. That nice angling, brother. This, this, all this. Uh, this is. This is. This is a very typical mouse player if I've ever seen one. They just yell into the open angle. Like, <laughs> why not just sit in the gap? Oh my gosh, dude, their mouse just suicided, and all to put a single shell into me. That's pretty epic, if I say so myself. Um. Oh man, do I regret putting same control mode off? I low-key do. I've just noticed how much of an absolute sweep the games have become ever since I did that. Alright, it's gonna show to this dude. Run away from him. You wonder it's gonna die in a few minutes here. Enemy Leo 1 being quite aggro indeed. Put a shell into him. Enemy Bashatian is pushing up through the mid here. 1 2 1 really can't do a whole lot to me. Let's go for the Leo. Let's see if we can get an HE shell into his rear. Oh no, I got scammed. I got scammed. Alright. Let's hopefully pen this HE. Nice. Only 400 damage dealt, but I'll take it. And I guess that's this game over with. Wow, very fast. These games are very, very much sweet games, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Oh! oh he went under my turret! That was a scam for him. Oh my goodness. But these games... Uh, I don't know. I mean, at least we're winning, but it's not, not the most pleasant situation. Oh my goodness. I think I over, over, over led that shell there. All right, Mr. Bashatheon, the time has come to die. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> Wallpaper moment. Would you like magic fatness after your cup fives are 50T? <laughs> Very nice wallpaper. Hey, yo, appreciate my artwork. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, how do you have the cup fives are 50T on your main account? Um... Wargaming. <laughs> Why are PC players so bad? I don't know, dude. They're just dying so fast. I'm like, guys, stop dying. Oh, man. I had a really good initial session, but I've always said, I've always said this. I'm going to say this to anyone who takes stats seriously. Never play for more than 20 games at a time. Because after 20 games, you start playing worse. As you've noticed a little bit, a few games have just been kind of meh. Um, 
And it, it, I always notice a peak. Like, I usually can get around 4K first 20 games, and after that, it just starts dropping consecutively. So, if you take stats seriously, don't play more than 20 game sessions. Promise me you won't regret it. Let's push on to this Leopard one here. Oof, that was beautiful for 19 Dell. Alrighty. But, because I like to provide you guys some nice premium quality content, I, I will stream for a little bit longer than 20 minutes, obviously. Alright, oops, someone's in an encounter cap already. Alright, here's what we're gonna have to do. Our teams are very split up. You know what? 57 is probably with a 4005 and maybe one other tank. My meds can hold from here for now. I think, oh, the 57 is getting annihilated. Okay, never mind. Where do I go to farm damage out here? Oh, that's a 260. Interesting. Let's see if the 260 makes a play. 260, 260 shoots at me. Very cool. Let's aim for that drive wheel, maybe. Boom, hitting it, keeping them in place for a little longer here. Uh, 57 is about to get annihilated. TVP is about to pull on up right behind us, I think. He's thinking about it, but I think the projectiles is giving me him down. This is... I don't know, do I yellow for damage at this point? Like, this game is over already, kind of, for the enemy team. Special onto their Vickers. Very cool. The 260 is getting annihilated. Their 4005 is still unspotted. That's a concern. Okay, there's their 4005. We don't have to worry about him. Cool beans. Okay. Let's put another shell into the 260. Nice little 450 max roll. The Leo one does shoot at me there, but he goes down. And let's get ready to deal with their Emil now. We are safe from crossfires for the time being. Let's just avoid taking a shot from the Emil for now. We are still safe. We can clear this Emil in a moment, or my allies will. That leaves the 405 and TBP, both of whom are stuck in the mid. Okay. Vickers as well. Leo's crossfiring out from behind. So this game's over already. Yeah. Dude, PC, PC players are just a completely different breed. <laughs> I swear. They're just a completely different breed of players, man. <laughs> Very aggressive YOLOs. Okay. I mean, the Leo is just, is just YOLOing now. Let's go for the Vickers at least. Vickers, feed me some damage on you, buddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Another 7 0 sweep. Another two minute and 30 minute game. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry about missing go over this hundred times, but Rabber or Cali. Uh, generally speaking, Rabber is pretty good on the on the Leopard one. It's what I recommend. No, our average is 36.55. That one really bad game ruined all my stats in this tank. I'm so sad. I have an 84% win rate, so we are winning a lot, but like I just can't farm very reliably with these sweep games, you know? Yeah, feel? Uh, 34. Good to see you, by the way. If I never could have believe it, I just got into a battle with a... <laughs> Minotaur. <laughs> I, uh, I, I absolutely cannot believe this. Please do not check my aftermath stats on stream. Thank you very much. Hello, fantasy. Hear me, brother. Mark. No, no all cap spam. I don't mind like a couple caps, but uh, all cap spam is against the is against my 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 rules. Oh my goodness! I don't know what to do what to do what to do what to do. Trapped again. I don't want to get grilled here. That's the problem. All right, all right, all right. Tracked again. Okay, we baited both of them. Now we pull down safely. Safest way to pull down. Don't pull out the outside way. Do what I just did there. That's the safest way to get out from that crossfire. I kind of overcommitted spotting. I was a bit busy reading chat, being the big brain, you know, gamer that I am. Um, that one unfortunately misses. We do have a Skoda with me. We have a VK in the corner. Waffenträger, I believe, is crossing up top. ST1's here to crossfires out just a little bit. Uh, E50's in the corner. I can't really pen an E50. I'm a bit worried about these crossfires. As for support, it's just a Fosh and a T30. Okay. I'm gonna wait till I get unspotted. Maybe. I don't know if I am unspotted. Let's put a snapshot into this man's. Okay. My primary concern right now is that VK and, and, and Waffenträger going up there. Okay, so the SD1 actually doesn't spot me until I shoot. Okay, we should be good now. Let's pull away from this crossfire. No way. No way they have a batch at just there of all places. You gotta be kidding me. Dude's just sitting there doing nothing. And of course, my TDs don't nuke him at all for that. I still had to get out of there. Actually, no. Looks like my teammates are winning the corner. Maybe I didn't have to do that. I thought it'd be safer. Bruh, that was unlucky that the batch is just sitting in Narnia. Dang. I didn't think you'd just be sitting there on the outside. Especially as I wasn't spotted rotating out. Not able to hit this dude. TVP's playing quite aggro here. Um, let's see if I can get my revenge on any of these dudes. Not quite yet. Okay, VK's full sending it, however. VK does manage to pick up the kill. Let's aim for a track shot, maybe. Not able to track him. But with this reload, we might be able to. No, not quite. All right, let's put a blind shot in because they have a waffle there still. Not quite as well. I7's not really spotting anyone up just yet. 
I'm just gonna keep sniping for now. There's not a whole lot for me to do. Oh man, our T-39-7 should have that corner under control. Hmm. I don't want the VK to spot me up. That's my main concern here. Come on, Batshot. Run away, Batshot. Rat chat, run away. Bop. Yeah, a little revenge. Feels good, doesn't it? Okay, the VK will spot me up if I stay there. Firstly, these bushes will provide me a little bit of camo against them. But I gotta run from here now. The good news is... Oh, the Waffenthrager isn't in corner anymore. Cool. Which means I can run away. Maybe even put a shell until I'm at it. Cool stuff. All right, Chief. I, all right, Chief. I see how it is. Um, rat chat spotted up top. Queen kill into him. Very nice. And my primary issue is that VK-72 that might yellow through for me. But, you know what? The SD-1 I don't think can spot me. So if I keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. We should be safe. Okay, that kind of worked out. Cool, my team cleared corner. Uh, and we managed to pick up a kill on the bat chat. So I got my sweet, sweet revenge. They still have a 54 floating around. I'm going to see if I can spot up our spawn just a little bit. It's a bit risky. Let's see. Okay, there's the Emil. Oh, did the S1 spot me there? Please tell me you didn't. It did. Okay, let's pull back in case that VK is in our spawn somewhere ready to shoot me. Dang. Okay. Let us think about this for just a second here. I don't want to overcommit and get myself killed for absolutely no reason. Our Fosh is safe. Our T30 is going to spot up our spawn. However, I'm not really able to pull through here without getting myself spotted up. So let's wait for IS-7 to do something. 389 hit points. Should be enough here. Alrighty. There's the grill. There's the 54. Let's pick a kill up on him. That's what I wanted to do all along. I didn't get spotted for that. Good news. Grill gets absolutely hammered. SD-1's not pulling back in fear. Okay, cool. I can rotate to the corner now, I think, unscathed. This is the play I want to make because I can get better farm from back here. Cool. All right. Well, we are recovering from a rather unpleasant initial game. Thanks to this tank's great mobility and gun handling kind of coming in clutch a little bit here. And it looks like... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ready Cal on. Let's put one shot to the SD-1. I don't know if you can spot me from back there. About to find out. You sure can. Oh, we are not poking you, girl. I take that back. That was a mistake. I will not do it again. I promise. Can we be friends? Psych. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that girl shoots or anything. I think girl's still waiting for me a little bit here. You gonna go for the blind shot or something? I'm on kill on you. Ay ay ay. Leo's camo rating isn't the best. Okay, it's just a VK. It's me, a one shot Fosh, and a one shot T30 versus a VK72. Unlucky for me. Um. I don't know where the VK's positioning, but I should be able to cross to the corner here safely, I believe. Let's see. He's somewhere in the mid. We have a minute and 34 seconds to kill his tank. I have 22 seconds before my reticle calibration is back. I'm gonna see if I can spot him from behind first. Because the VK just shouldn't have the best camo rating. I don't know if he's sending it, if he's sitting by the buildings or not. But with a minute left, we're gonna have to do something or it's just gonna end up being a draw. So... Let's go for our VK spotting run. I don't have a choice. I gotta go. There's only a minute left here. I gotta have faith that my allies will provide some assistance at least. So our T30's not spotting him. Where could he be? He went all the way back to encounter cap? Well, that's an interesting play. Wasn't really expecting that one, but I'll take it. 49 seconds left. Oh no, please be looking the other way. Close enough. Track shot. Come on, come on, YOLO him. We only have 30 seconds left. Let's see if I can bait him to shoot at me. Bait. Okay, okay, we baited him. We have 30 seconds to kill this dude. 27 seconds to kill this dude. I'm gonna pray my DPM works well here. Another shell. Okay, okay, okay. Give me another track shot here. Woo! Ah, <sighs> stressful, stressful. The only, re the only reason we won that, by the way, is because I baited the VK there. I had to. I just had to. Luckily, I know the VK is trash gun handling, so his chances of hitting that were pretty slim. But I had to at least try and get in the shoot there. We actually... What? We pulled 5k out of that game? No way. That game was so garbage. There's no way I pulled 5k out of it. Okay. Yes, we're back at 3,700 average. Let's go. Fanas is doing Liam showcase at the moment. Indeed, I am. <laughs> 
Is that a mustache? It is ink. I took a sharpie and I went, ah. What's up, Shin Spot? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. S subscribe for two weeks now. Great channel. Fatness Premium. Hey, Ace, thank you so much. Welcome to the His Royal Fatness YouTube channel experience. Hope you're enjoying. Alrighty. Now that I've had a good game, I just feel so much happier. This is how I am. If I get a streak of like sweet bad games, I just get, I just get sad. But now that I had a really fun game where I kind of just mega farmed, I'm like, yay. Alrighty, let's see. Do you want to probably can get to the corner before me? Let's find out what they have. 215B. Okay, is the 215B spotted up? Cool. That's the one I'm concerned about most in terms of their heavy tanks. Um, type 71. There's the Waffenträger. They could still have a 183 or a Jag headed this way. So far, none of their meds are spotted up here. And, oh, is that a mighty Jaegeru? A mighty Jaegeru ready to get Yeterud? Let's go. One shot into the mighty Jaegeru. Mighty Yeageru is not messing up big time, ladies and gentlemen. Two shots into the Mighty Yeageru. Oh, this DPM goes burr. Three shots into the Mighty Yeageru. The shell velocity is what makes this gun, like, absolutely insane, though. Let's be honest, though. Four shots into the Mighty Yeageru. Yeageru goes down. 205B is playing the ditch play, being all nice and passive. I guess spotted up. I don't know if it was from the 200LT or something. Um, but I assume that's what, that is the tank that spotted me. It was their 200LTs from somewhere. Let's see what we can do now. General LT might be in the bushes back here. That's, that's my bet. I'm gonna see if I can spot anyone out from the mid though. We know their 183 isn't really committed out here. Oh, there's the 200 LT. Yo, I, I'm sorry to break this to you, 200 LT, but you cannot absolutely not out DPM a Leopard 1. I'm just going to annihilate you and your life. I'm going to annihilate your life and I hope you enjoy the, the, the experience. And here's where DPM is oh so very beautiful. As we casually full health that 200 LT in no time. And he had adrenaline running, by the way. Which means he, he actually had way better DPM for the first, like, 20 seconds there. But obviously, you know, Leo won just Giga Chad damage farmer. Alright. I don't know where the Jaeger, I mean the 183 went. But E75 might give me some farm here in just a second. So quick, quick shell to him. Very nice. Can some farm into Mystery 75 here. This might be a good time to use some of my consumables. Boom. Another shell into Mystery 75. Already dealing 3,700 damage so far this battle. Not quite able to do much else so far, but that's a pretty good start. Let's see what Mr. 183 is up to. Oh, there's 183. Shot into his side. Oh my goodness, that was a bad shot by me. Nothing else but that. Alrighty, with Ready Cow, we should still be able to hit him. Oh, we hit him. We just didn't pen him. Unfortunate. Looks like Mr. 183 might turn his attention back to me here. It's put another shell into him. Nah, it's too late for him to do that. All right. Well, before it's all over, let's get four and a half thousand damage out. Let's go. Leo is so hot. Well, I'm back. My dress up darling is very weird. Uh, sir, what, what do you expect with an anime of that title? Just curious. It's, it's kind of wholesome, though, at the same time, if you can get used to it. <laughs> e clutch. All right. 37, 29 average damage, 33 games, two hours of gameplay. Whew, my throat's getting sore. This is what happens when I stream too much in, in this short period of time. I had to take a break. <laughs> it's not a mustache. It's his, it's his royal mustache. Yeah, easy collapse, bro. All right, enemy team. Got a 140, 200LT, E50, TPD41. It's me and a Vickers and our very heavy heavies. But our yo wants to go left. We're on the better spot to go left. I don't usually approve of heading to the left-hand side of this map. But we do have the better spawn for it. So may as well, especially if our yo is coming with. I do wish our E3 was with us. Enemy team do have a lot of mediums and lights. So we should keep an eye out for that. Enemy 200 LT being quite aggressive. He does hit me for a shot here, but oh no, he is being a little bit too aggressive. Me thinks get another shell to this dude, but ooh, there's a lot of tanks over here. Okay, I take this back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not committing to the corner. This would be a really bad idea with the Kron and all of those dudes. Instead, we're gonna have to play the big brain game of I will try and protect you. Put a shell to this leopard. Easy collapse. I hopefully can run away from here. The 54 is being the bait. Let's go. The 4005 is going to be maybe an issue for me. Let's put a shell towards him. Okay, I should get safe from the 4005 very soon. Oh, the Kron as well. Oh, uh, this game is scuffed. Okay, their whole team. 
decided to send it over here. It's not over yet, but it's definitely a little bit scuffed, I will admit. Okay. So, their team is going to be pushing pretty aggressively into the mid, I believe. 405 is in the open for now. Let's put a shell into him. 340. Very nice. That's what we like to see. The 405 is, I believe, trying to back up here. Let's put another shell into him. Nice. He gets taken out. Very good. Aryo is going to play the bait the bait game here. I'm going to see if I can help out Aryo from a little bit on the left-hand side. There's an object 140 here. Hopefully, the grill helps me out against this 140. Because the 140 does have very good DPM. So, nice. Girl sending it in with me. Very good. That's exactly what we want. Let's put another shell into this dude. Object 140, new turret armor is so great, as you can see. Very nice. E50 is in the open. Let's put a shell to the front of his turret. Very cool. Very cool. E50 might pull forward just a little bit here. I think our grill's going to just big brain on him. What a giga chad. Gorilla 15. Oh, no. Gorilla 15 goes down. Oh, please. Please tell me we only have one shot left. Um, no, I'll take that trade. Put another track shot into this dude. Tronwagen's getting a little bit more aggro now. Same with the enemy's yo. Let's put a shot to the side of his turret. We farm 3.8k damage. Very cool. So this is the play you should make if you're going to lose med corner, but your team kind of halfway committed to the med corner. Do what I did this game. Which is, um, oh, goodness, I couldn't spot him. That was a bad shot to take. Which is pull back a little bit and let the enemy team YOLO into you. And then take advantage of that. If you can do that, you're, you're, you're big chillin'. Let's put another shell into this cron. Oh, unlucky. Okay, I don't think the yo has really good shots on me from there. Let's put a shell towards his hatch. Not quite. It's fine. Man's can sit there all he wants. It's not going to make a huge difference in the end. Kron's kind of looking my way now, but also the Yo is kind of stuck in the open. So let's put a shell into the Kron. 340. Very nice. Getting that easy farm off. Let's put a shell into the roof of the Kron's turret here and pull back from the 54. That's 4.8k damage dealt so far. We can avoid the 254 for a second here. Although, you know what? The game's already... Oh, oh I just misfired. I am so talented at this game, guys. I really am the best. Okay. Um, there we go. Nice little kill shot on this man's here. And maybe even a kill shot on this man. Ah! <laughs> RNG, why are you doing me like this? It's okay, it's not the end. There we go. <laughs> Very well played game for 5,200 damage. Definitely the play I recommend once again. If you're going to lose that med corner. So I went for the aggressive early spot, right? I wanted to figure out, okay, how many tanks are they sending into the corner? That was the first kind of goal there. But, um... After I saw that Kronwagen coming in and their whole team just full sending at the corner, I realized, okay, here's what we got to do. We got to just pull back, but I baited half of my teammates into the corner as well. So I wasn't just going to completely abandon them. So what you can try doing in that situation is just pull back a little bit, get into those hills, and just try and cover fire as much as possible when they're pushing on well, your allies. Well, that stream was fast. If what? someone doesn't love the well, Leo, that's the first judge so them 100%. Leo, Leo, I judge them 100%. Aish, thank you so much for the donation. And yes, yes, I I, I I, did say, when you donated yesterday and asked me to stream the Leo, I, I did take that to heart. And that's why we're doing the Leo today. <laughs> In the new game, any glitches this update? I really don't know. All right, T22. I mean, gosh, that show velocity. Like, that T-22, I didn't even have to lead my shot against him. I just had to look at this poor dude. And he was like, boom, you're losing, you're losing like, 370 hit points. All right. Hey, Bobs. Good to see ya. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. All right. So, med corner's looking a little iffy. Judging by the fact that our yo has not really spotted anyone. Okay, the 100's crossing. I should be safe. No! Please don't stop to shoot me 100. I didn't think they're 50. Okay. I thought their heavies were headed this way. I didn't think the 57 would be there of all places. So I kind of had to pull out just a wee bit here. Be with my allies. Bobby is just walking all over my keyboard. Please don't, like, stop my stream by accident or something. I swear you're going to do that one day. All right. The Bobby's chilling. Enemy team is kind of chilling, but they're a bit over aggressive here. Uh, my allies are playing it super aggressive as well. There's the enemy Gorilla 15. Let's put a quick shell into him. 390. A nice little high roll there. Looks like E100 and Gorilla are just, just chilling here. They don't really feel like moving. That's fine by me. I'm going to act like I'm running away. And hopefully, hopefully we can just bait the E100 to give me a shot here. Not quite. I don't know if he spotted me up. I don't think he can with the tree there. Very cool. The tree's providing me camo. Let's put another shell into the E100 here. This is what we like to see. Here's how you use camouflage to maximize your damage firm. All right, heat shell, 320. I should be spotted now. Yep. And our 57 is pretty low on HP. Uh, I mean, their 57 is pretty low on HP. This Sheridan's going to the mid. Kron's with him. Oh my, he got hit by one of our 2183s. That had to really suck. All right. Unlucky, brother. 
Our mouse is doing okay. The grill's rotated out. The Sheridan is rotated in, and I think the Kron's supporting him. I think what we gotta do is they're gonna go for our... They're gonna go for our 183s. In which case, we should deal with their 183 as quickly as we possibly can. But one shell to this man's. He's distracted for the time being. All right, I don't think he has the traverse speed to hit me here. Second shot into him. Good stuff. I can just pretend I'm not pulling forward. Hopefully, our Sheridan does something to provide me a little bit of assistance here. But I'll have to pick up the kill myself. Girl gets taken down. Oh my, what happened to their Kron? Talk about getting absolutely annihilated by our 183s. There are 183s or Giga Chaz. All right, we hit those. Psych, we don't hit those. Oh, but our 183 sure does. All right. Well, that game was over in an instant. Yo, Sheridan. I don't think you got the sped to outrun me. But RMG is on your side, so who knows? <laughs> 3k damage now. Very fast sweep game. Are you going to do the E100 stream again? Um, oh yeah, I probably should do an E100 stream at some point, huh? Oh, it might, might not be such a bad idea. Well, fast sweep, but another dub. Dude, we haven't like 86% win rate in the Sheridan and the Leopard 1. Today's solo for 35 games. That's actually kind of crazy, considering the Leopard 1 is pretty delicate. <laughs> I've been averaging about 2.7 damage with 43-40% win rate this weekend. Ah, oh, feels bad, brother. Feels bad. 3,800. You know, I'll take 3,800. That's my threshold for tier 10 averages. 3,800 that I want to try and maintain. So if I can maintain around 3,800, your boy's going to be pretty happy. Also, um, yeah, my team's going town. So enemy team have a 200 LT, a Leopard, a, well, a TVP. And my team just have me and a bash out the on. And it looks like, well, I'm sorry, 57. I don't mean to run away from you like this. Oh my gosh, why do you guys have to take the long route in? Um, okay, well, now this game's just kind of scuffed. I looked like our heavies weren't going to help us, but then they just kind of debated all the way through up top. I thought they were going to kind of cut through mid, but got kind of caught off guard by the heavy tanks there just a little bit. Wasn't really expecting them to come back to mid here. Good news is the Type 71 won't expect me either. Going quick shot to him. That's always fun. Super Bonker is stopping in the open to try and maybe shoot at me. Gonna act like I'm running away now. And we're just gonna wait until these dudes can't spot me. I'm gonna go with our bat chat to clear out the enemy spawn. Because I think we can crossfire them out from behind. Very cool. Alright, let's see what our bat shot spots up first. I don't want to overcommit and get bonked by a TD. Okay, we know where one of the TDs is, at least the Fashipu. The Bashatheon puts a shell into the enemy's type here. Enemy type is getting farmed out. Another shell for me this time. Type losing most of his hit points there in a few seconds. Had to be a very, a very fortunate gamer experience. Oh, yes, of course. I don't know why the Type 71s have impenetrable drive wheels. That should never be a thing. And I hope Wargaming do something about it sometime. Type being pretty aggressive here. We have taken control of pretty much the enemy's whole spawn at this point. So... I think with that gorilla now off of the bridges, we can go back up the mid and start crossfire at this type and, and stuff like that from here. All right. Types in the mid. Let's put an AP shell towards them. Unfortunately, that shell does not connect. It's not the end of the world, though. This, 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 uh, this super conk might give me a shot. Not quite. The enemy team really can't do much here. This game's actually going to work out pretty decently for me and my allies, I think. Put a shell to the super conk's engine deck. Very nice. I mean, the 57 can just hold for now. With this type and super conk and a little aggro, it's not going to go so well for them. Right, type, I can tell he's just trying to bait me out. TVP is way overextended over here. 57, don't completely abandon your boy. It's not cool. Let's track them. All right, tracking the super conqueror here. I don't know if I want to take a shot from this man. So, okay, we do take a shot, but we do manage to put another shell into him. Let's pull back from the enemy's leopard one who's trying to yellow me. Oh, sure, buddy. Sure, 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 sure. You're just going to yellow in, are you? 311. Leo's being very aggressive. Let's pop that ready calibration on. Another shell to the leopard one here. Leo one just kind of casually farm out my team, although I want to be cautious of the Fosh Foshipu here. Let's push down to the Foshipu and pull back. Super Conqueror is trying to shoot at me. Same with the Type 71 here. Type getting super aggro for me, but he doesn't have the gun depression. No, he does, apparently. Oh my goodness. This, this, um... That 200 LT went for the dive bomb there. Allies, what on earth? Oh my gosh. Our grill still sitting. Oh, our 113 finally pushing up. Like, I took the attention of the Type, the T100, the Leopard, the Con Super Conqueror, the Fosh there for a period of time. I was hoping the allies would come in and help us sooner. Oh my goodness. Come on, you got that. Okay, okay. We're going to get the dub. We should get the dub. In terms of hit points, my team is far outclassing them. But, oh man, their whole team just full sent it there. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? The enemy team died for it. I do have to admit, that was a pretty epic jump by the 200 LT. Kudos to that 200 LT. Going for the meme jumps there. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, this is my tea. Do you approve? Do you approve of my tea? This is what prevents my voice from dying. 3k damage dealt. Bit of a sweep, but not a bad game all the same. 324 likes. Thank you so much to everyone who smashed that like button. If you're allowed to stream tanks you're testing, what would you stream? Like any of the tier 10 test tanks, but you know, it's prohibited. <laughs> mm. On to the second bottle. I sound like an alcoholic. This is bad. Okay. Um, we're going to spot out the mid. They have lots of heavies, lots of TDs. Sheridan. Uh, but that's it for meds and lights. So they're pretty light, light in terms of... Um, not having the most mobile lineup. Okay, that completely didn't make sense. That was not a good use of my English. But um, they don't have a lot of mobile vehicles. They're mostly pretty slow and heavy. So I'm going to spot the, 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 the heavy crossing for now. Interesting. Super Conqueror spotted up top. Here is Le Baja. Let's put a quick shot on the Le Baja. And that's all the information I needed. So the enemy team is clearly going up top. Like, most of their team is obviously kind of just full sending up top. I'm going to go kind of deep towards the enemy spawn here. And hopefully we can find them up from behind. The Sheridan's just kind of following me around, which is whatever. My team can take CB control away from the enemy team. Then this is a pretty easy dub. Oh, well, kind of depends. I think our Sheridan said he's driving to C, so I'll leave that to him because he just said driving to C. So hopefully he was being truthful there. I'm going to go all the way deep into the enemy spawn to start getting a bit of a crossfire going here on their tanks. Push shell into this VK-72 for starters. Now, I am sure that VK did spot me up when I shot at him, so that's cool. Let's pull away from any kind of position where we can get nuked. Okay, there's that enemy 183. Enemy Super Gonqueror, enemy 183, enemy VK-72, who... I don't know if he can spot me through that bush or not. Let's aim it at the Badger's Lord Plate. Ready, Cal, for the win. Very nice indeed. I don't think he can spot me from back here. Very close. Put another shot towards him. Unlucky. VK is now in the open a little bit here. Dude's getting crossed right out like crazy. Another shot. I'm going to use these bushes as cover so the VK can't spot me up. Let's aim for his drive wheel. There we go. Track him in place. That's what we like to see. I don't know if the dude spotted me up, but he's definitely looking my direction. Let's track him again. Oh, Sheridan almost getting blind fired there. And I do get spotted this time, but the, the VK is just getting very unlucky tracked in the open. Let's pull back since we're spotted. Our spawn could use a little bit more support here soon, I believe. And I think this was enough sniping for the start of this game. I think we got a good amount of sniping in. But at this point in time, I think probably pushing in a little bit towards B-cap. Be a little bit more aggressive here. Might be to play. But, oh, that's a cron. Let's me get one shot until you get sir. 2,500 damage dealt so far. Badger shot at me. I think the 183 is still covering the Badger. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. But I, I think he's going to keep covering the Badger. Let's see. Oh, hello, 183. Okay, he shot someone else. That's that's precisely what I was hoping for. All right. Uh, Kron's pushing into the open. Boom. 400 damage into him there. Very nice. So the 183 actually is covering the Sheridan. Very interesting. Was not expecting that, but ran out of gun depression there. Sheridan is coming in for the big brain flank now. Not that it matters so much to me. Oh, hello, 183. Alright, 183 got baited into shooting at me. Bad to V4. Oh my gosh, this game is just over. I'm just gonna go farm damage at this point. It's already over. I don't even care if the Sheridan shoots at me right now. Hit <laughs> 500 HE damage. Very big brain, isn't it? Oh my goodness, the Badger really wants me too now. <laughs> Hopefully my allies can deal with the Sheridan. Kinda thought they would. We capped out. No, my damage. Okay, well that worked well for a dub. Maybe not so much for farm. I should have been more aggressive down the mid. I wasted too much time with that shirt, and I could have had so much to farm that game, but, uh, yeah. Apparently, our T124 was scared of pushing the isolated shirt, and so, sure, just let this sit there. My E50 PM was my best win rate with 66%, and now 51 is 51%. Average Super 4K in the E50 M2. That's not too bad, though. If you're on the stream, tanks. <laughs> did she just ask that question, or did I just read the same question twice? Hee hee, hee hee. We are lions. E100 is boring. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. 3,730 average. A solid 86% win rate. Not bad. Ooh, 86. What a gorgeous number. Okay. Let's spot the crossing. I'm going to go a little bit on the outside here. Boom. Oh, my gosh. What? Who needs to lead shots, right? Who needs to lead shots when you're in a Leopard 1? You just bop people for days. Okay. The enemy team definitely seem to be sending some vehicles to this side of the map. STB getting a little... Our allies seem to be providing zero support here, but luckily for me, the STB one's not making the biggest brain plays here. So he's letting me farm him up just a little bit here. Let's put a shot into this 54 and back down to get a ricochet there, thankfully. I know they have a type pulling up somewhere on my left here. Let's put a quick shot to the type, pull back. 
Hopefully my allies help me out sometime within the next couple of decades. That would be pretty cool. But, you know, I understand if they don't want to assist, assist the homie out. It's okay. All right. E50M. I mean, not E50. And 57 Heavy might pull forward to give me a shot here. He does have a damaged Amorak, so he might be a little scared to do so. And let's see. I mean, I guess we're just holding top for now. Not a whole lot for me to do. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure those dudes weren't going to push me. Oh, no. That's a Type 71. Okay. Okay. That's, that's my cue to get out of here. That's 150% my cue to get out of here. No way am I just going to let that Type 71 rat on me for days. Oh, no. The STB is going to shoot at me, though. Oh, nice. He only tracked me. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Try and run away. Trying to run away. Here's the STB. Not able to fully avoid that shot. Type 71's YOLOing for me for some bizarre reason. And also, all my allies are just big chilling in Narnia, which is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, teammates. Look at these three. That 57 Badger and E3 sitting in Narnia. Kronvagen 2. They just had to push up the mid and support us. Now, we do have triple cap. As long as I stay alive and don't die, and I can keep farming out passively, then my team actually do have a chance of winning this. But it's like, bruh, it shouldn't have gotten to this close because I was holding bridges there for so long with my allies, but they kind of uh, were nowhere to be found. And big surprise, when that happens, you tend to die. All right, the 183 spotted. Our team 183 is holding by himself. No, Badger. Oh my gosh, dude. These three. These three wandering Andes over here. Going around and doing nothing all game. I don't understand. They didn't even have a single tank to fight over here. They could have gone straight to the bridges and we would have won. That just sucks, man. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> what a, what a pog champ team. Bobe. I know Bobby's so cute, isn't she? Hmm. <laughs> Our heavies and badger threw, or enter E3. You know, everyone threw. <laughs> everyone threw. I threw by not running away because I forgot that my allies were going to do nothing to help me there. Let's see how lovely they did. Oh, uh, yes. E3 with the 700 damage. Badger with the 700 damage. 57 pulling a miraculous two shots of damage out. Kronwagen actually doing a little bit of damage, but he was actually a little more aggressive, unlike the rest of the teammates. Ah, I love heavy tanks, man. I love heavy tank players. They, I don't, I don't understand sometimes. They're just like, they refuse to play like heavies. <laughs> it's kind of me. Pepega cappers. I know. Dude, we would have been fine if they just cut in through the middle of the map. That's what I'm confused. It's like they it's not like they were fighting anyone in the in in the town. No one was there. The enemy team had seven tanks straight up on the on the bridges there. Around the bridge area. If they just cut into the mid, the type never would have YOLO'd us. We would have maintained top control. We probably would have won. But they just wandered around in the enemy spawn for like three minutes. I was like, bro, what is this? <laughs> so uh, yeah, naturally. That game was a lost cause. Well, 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 well. Who else is a lost cause? Mr. 57 here. Let's put 400 into you, good sir. He was unable to spot me. Never mind. My sixth sense was just a bit delayed. Oh my gosh. 57s have the most stupid turret armor, I swear. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they do have an E50M up here. Object 84. Let's annihilate this E50M and his dreams of, of grandeur. Let's do it together, guys. Let's do it together. This dude, I'm pretty sure, is by himself. Let's go. Boom. You're, you're dying very fast here, buddy. Okay, I thought the 50M wasn't up here because it looked like his team wasn't, but, uh, what do you know? He is. Hat shot, and you're dead. Easy claps. Nice. Okay, Shkoda's at the entrance of town. Same with the 50TP. This game's already a dub. We have hill control. We have so much map control over the enemy team. Oh my gosh. Why did I... I have 10 degrees of gun depression, or 9 degrees of gun depression, right? I'm surprised I ran out there. All right, there we go. Let's farm damage. Let's farm damage. I like farming damage, so let's farm damage. Not the shell to you. This is the damaging damage farming simulator that we all came here for. The free bot farm. Let's go. Okay. Let's hope I don't get 183. Okay, the 183 can't possibly 183 me. He's fired twice, I think. Now the shell to him. Ooh, 295. Bit of a low roll there, huh? All right, 50 TP can't quite shoot me. It's one of the shell to this dude. He's dead to the object. We have gone Steph off. Okay. Never mind. Object can't kill him, so I'll do it myself. 23 is in the open here. 50B, I believe, to be a little bit isolated. Let's put an HE to his side. Good stuff. Nice. Okay. 3,300 damage dealt. Oh, no. The 23 got nuked. That was all my farm that was left. 
Why do you have to track me? Goodbye. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Give me that damage. Let's go. We got we got it. We got our 4k out, boys. We are we are happy. Yay. <laughs> Much better. They waited for the babysitter when you came late. Uh, these are my teams this weekend. Yeah, teams have been pretty hit or miss this weekend. My my personal theory is whenever there's a special game mode like Gravity, Uprising, Big Boss, players just kind of lose their minds a little bit. Um, and so when they go back to playing pubs, they be a little bit less, a little bit less sweaty than usual. And so they kind of just either sit around and do nothing or just YOLO thinking they have an infinite amount of lives. <laughs> How to play Leo 1. Go to find enemies to ask for help, get rushed, and die first on team. <laughs> That's a great idea. Okay, okay. Enemy team is very heavy. They do have a TVP and a patent here, but mostly pretty heavy. I have triple meds. Two st a standard being 55A, super conquer coming for support. What we're going to do, we're on the good spot. We're going to spot up the mid here. And if we don't spot most of the team coming in, we're gonna go. We're gonna go pretty aggressive. E one hundred sixty TP fifty seven Badger TI five. Those tanks very well could want to go the other way. I'll take it back. There's the TVP three hundred thirty eight into him. Bit of a low roll, but at least we do spot up his vehicle. I'm gonna keep spotting up this crossing for now. Badger fifty seven sixty TP. How peculiar. How very very peculiar. I really wasn't expecting them to full send like this. Fifty five A's in the corner. All right, let's wait for them to start crossing. We're going to start off with Mr. Badger here. Got scammed a little bit against Mr. Badger here. Who I believe is just going to try and yellow it up, it up to where I am. My position here. Let's see if this pan gives me a free shot on his hatch here. Okay, he just stops in the open. Our Super Conqueror is hauled down for the time being. This might be a good time to start farming out the pan from back here. Oh my goodness, this pan's getting... This pan's baiting everyone, isn't he? All right, let's put a shell to this dude's lower plate. Nice, the Badger is being a little too aggressive. and He's paying the price for it. Very cool indeed. Just put a heat shell kill shot. Nice. 60 TP is getting a little aggro as well. Let's put a quick shot to the TI-5's top. This is working out just fine for me because we had the Super Conqueror to stop their whole kind of YOLO. Let's put another shot to this man's here. Very cool. Very cool. E-100 on the enemy team is being a little aggro. So let's aim for that drive wheel. 333. Nice little track shot into him. Very nice. Oh yeah, this is, this is free farm, isn't it? Damage farming simulator. This is what I like to see, guys. This is what I like to see. Another shell to the 100, 438. That used to be the max roll on this tank back in the day, but not anymore. TVP pushing in, split 450. That's the new max roll. 450, nice. Oh, this is such a damage farming simulator. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. I've already farmed 3300 damage, and I've had to do practically nothing but sit here. Hello, E100. You missed those. Let's go. E100 fluffs a shot. Very cool. The 57's in Narnia, so I think I can just kind of YOLO Mr. E100 here, huh? My goodness, I can't pin him anywhere. I take it back, Mr. E100. Let's be friends. Also, let me just take care of your T95 real quick. Cool. Alright, another shell to this dude, and we can kill him in just a moment. 57 is rotating back for me, I believe. There's only so much this 57 will be able to do here, so let's pop that ready cal track shot. Ooh, not quite. I have the urge to sneeze so badly right now. It's torture. All right, what's the all for damage, guys? Damage farming simulator 101 with fatness. Let's go. I should have saved my repair kit. Hopefully, he doesn't ammo rack. Of course, he does. Of course, he does. I totally called that. I should have saved my repair kit. Dude, I don't know what's up with the Leopard 1's Amorak getting damaged every single time he gets shot through the front of the hall. I should just give him my sides in the future. We are still going to win, but I totally called it. Dang it, that was like 6,000 plus damage easily if that dude didn't just get lucky with the Amorak. Spawn sniping heavies, dude. It's, it's always, it's, it's what we call it noob RNG. <laughs> oh, man. Lazy lad playing a lazy Leo. That game was overall pretty chill. I don't really mind that I died because I still got mega damage and we're going to win regardless. Ah, yeah, get ratted on. Get ram killed. Yeah. Die. <laughs> What's up, Shocky Poo? You were the Type 61 that gave me grief last battle? Oh, you mean on Nube? You shot me twice the entire game. And you took one shot in return, so... Hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Master Blast, careful with the cap span. <laughs> I don't know what I typed. Bonked. I literally thought he's gonna get out here. Dude, I called it! The moment I used my repair kit, I'm like, wait, I shouldn't have used it just in case I get Amorak, and I totally called it. 
I shouldn't jinx myself like that, guys. <laughs> I'm right for the spot stuff. Dude, it's a 120 millimeter. That tank has no module damage. Like, how lucky is that 57? Like, seriously. Ay, ay, ay. As I say, new, new bar G be strong with some of these, with some of these players, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, I'm not going mid this time because as that last time I went mid demonstrated, I don't really like going mid, but we still have 37, 49 average damage, 40 games in, 85% win rate. I mean, these, these stats are actually really good. I will admit, even if they're not the most ideal. Oh yes, oh yes. They don't have enough view range to spot me up, I think. Let's focus the Sheridan out first. Oh yes, actually they can probably spot me up. Nope, they can't even spot me. Oh my gosh, this is this is sublime. This is sublime. Oi. Oh my gosh, there's 62 I already died. We lost uh Duven Mar Marquez, RIP to our man's over here. Alright, so enemy team, I do not believe have sent anyone towards C. At least no one's been spotted yet, which is good. Bobby is exploring Narnia with me. We have a wild 183 here. Let's put 380 into this dude. I guess he's gonna turn back to try and shoot at me, which is kind of cute. Um, but that's not gonna go so well for him. He's gonna get shot by everyone else. We do manage to bait a shell out of him. Let's track him in the open. He gives up on life. Yeah, buddy. Probably sitting in the open to try and tunnel me there was not a good idea. Yeah, probably not the best plan. All right, this game is an absolute sweep so far. So, E4 Yagaru still unspotted. There is their Yo in the middle. Let's put a quick shell towards him. RNG says, no, I do not like you, so that one unfortunately does miss. Let's watch out for any TDs on the right side here, since I'm hugging left a little bit. There's the T124, the enemy team. Yo has fired once, Yo has fired twice. I believe he's using the big gun so we can yellow him, but the Fosh is about to clear him out. Goodbye, sir. This game looking pretty donezo for the enemy team. Oh my goodness, the E4 lets himself get hashed. What a absolute Chad lad. All right, one tracking shot into Mr. Yeageru. Don't have to do too much here, just have to get him tracked. You know what? Doesn't matter. This game is this game is so donezo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Their team got annihilated. Yeah. Well, oh, what a threes! Ruining my damage farm. These dudes are insane. What's up? Is that I came off a four-hour voice call? I see you're having a good <laughs> session. So all is well. <laughs> Yeah, not too bad. Could be a little better. Uh, the game's a bit a little sweep sweepy-esque, but not shabby. 41 games, 85% win rate. All right. Whew. We're going for almost three hours in the lead. Let's go. You should have a third option on pull. to aggressive. YOLO aggressive. Oh, please. Good spawn. Darn, we got the crap spawn. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have Mike82194 on our team. They have Mako on their team. Battle of the Pramo Piggies. Let's go and see who is going to be the better Pramo player. Fight, 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 fight. Who are you guys voting for? Who's going to do better? Mike, the old school clan lead of Pramo, or Mako, the newer member of Pramo who worked his way up from purple? Okay, so, enemy mad's not really going onto the hill here, but they do have a 2-5-B and a chieftain, so this isn't super good for me. Um, hopefully my allies help me out here. We do manage to bait the 2-5-B here. Let's put a track shell into him, just to show him who's boss. That's right, I'm boss. All right, Kranwagen is thinking of supporting me a little bit here. Um, chieftain is going to do the exact same thing as, I believe, that 2-5-B, which is just to overextend here to try and shoot my turret. Look at these dudes. Oh, they're so determined to shoot me. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, my goodness. How did he hit that? No way he penned my mantlet. That is this so darn lucky. Ah, but you're not lucky twice, are you? Dude, can you guys go to this right corner? It's it's better farm over here, I promise you. Okay, there's a patent behind me. This could be problematic. Okay, looks like our Yo's gonna take care of him. Let's go. I gotta let the Yo deal with that. Let's see what the Chieftain does. All right, 183's just farmed this dude. Let's put another shell into the type here. Allies, let's uh, let's be a little bit more aggressive on the hill here. This Chieftain and Kron are just getting super lucky. Oh, Chieftain, Chieftain, don't poke that again, huh? I don't want to overpeak this because I know the 183s are just sitting there staring for me. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, this might be worth it. He's tracked in the open, but no, I missed my opportunity to farm him out. Unlucky. Once again, another HE shell from this big brain Chieftain Mark 6 here. Okay, I might be able to kill this patent here in just a moment. Now, that was an important kill. Now my rear is safe. I can just sit here. I'm fine. Because I think the 183s aren't behind me, so I don't have to do much. 
Alrighty, so the enemy 183s, as we know, are just chilling in Narnia. This type and Chieftain are both kind of obsessed with me, which is kind of cute. I'm gonna stay unspotted for now. I only have 550 hit points. This is the way of playing aggro on this hill. Oh my gosh, you really can't do anything to type 71s, man. Pretty garbage. Alright, we know they have a 183 there, so I can't overextend here just yet. The Chieftain's getting dunked on, though. Chieftain is getting hardcore dunked on. 205B dropped down. 140 system back in Narnia. Alright, I guess I'll just, I'll just chill here for now. I hate type 71s or rat 71s, I mean. Rat 71s! Wee! Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness. No way. No way! You gotta be kidding me, guys. What is the 205B doing? Oh my gosh. Of course, the 205B is yoloing all the way oh through my. there. My buddy Mike Numbers is alive. Dry cat food for <laughs> red <laughs> Dry cat food for red actors deposit. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna see whoever wins. Okay, it's been like two hours and 40 minutes of Leopard 1 gameplay, which is great, but like I say, if you want to take a tank seriously and play well, don't play more than 20 in it at a time. I'm gonna... This is where we're gonna have some fun, I think, before we head off the stream. Uh, for tonight. So, let's, uh, let's just bop some people. I just want to have some fun. I think, um, you know what's a fun bopping tank? Um, uh, you know, you know what's a tank I haven't played in a while, actually? Hmm. All right, let's see. Not to 5795. Can't play the Carol, obviously. TVP is good. I haven't played the Bat Chat in forever. Actually, I don't even know if I've played the Bat Chat since the update dropped. So let's give the Bat Chat a go, just for the fun. Uh, Russian Disaster. Thank you so much for the donation once again. Re really do appreciate it. <laughs> paid Actors Deposit. Ah, Paid Actors Deposit. Could be, uh, might be a little too late. I've already played 41 games in the Leopard 1 today <laughs> during the stream. 350 likes. Oh, it's 400. Let's go, guys. Smash that like button. All right. I'll have to do a Bash Out the On stream sometime. I haven't... I don't think I have streamed the Bash Out the On since it was changed. Not too much changed about the Bash Out the On. It just got Interclub Reload Boost and Spall Liner, which are, which are nice, but fundamentally it plays the same. Kronwagen, please. Oh, no, I don't play the Kronwagen. Minotaur. Is there a garage? Should I totally play that? Yeah, dude, definitely should play the Minotaur. No, 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 no problem. I got this, dude. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> but once it's released officially in game. All right, let's see. E50M. Um, what is this Piranha doing? Piranha from the Amazon. All right, one shell to his hatch. Well, never mind. Piranha getting mega aggressive here for the shots on me. One shell into the Piranha. Okay. The Hori's up top. No shell into this Piranha here. Oh my goodness. You know what? The Jaeger took all the shots. That's all I needed. I'm getting out of here. Oh, dude, you don't seriously think this is a good idea. Oh, get dunked on. Minus 1,400. Yeah, don't tell me you actually thought that was a good play, buddy, right? Um, not really sure what that E6 was thinking. Magic just totally full sent it. I mean, I respect the, the, I respect the YOLO, but uh, probably not the best idea in the end. Ooh. Okay, we know where the 183 is. We know where the CVP on the enemy team is. All right, let's pop that interclub reload boost considerable. No, we dropped down. Bad timing for me. But we still might be able to hit some shots on him in the, or this concept here. Alright, let's kill this dude. Nice. Our E50M just being an absolute chad. Bat chat's fun. Bat chat's fun. I, I really need to play it more. Um, I've been too busy. It's like, uh, if I want to play an autoloader, it's like the TVP is just straight up memes. So I go for the TVP. But in all honesty, I should play the bat chat a little more. Because this tank is really great. Let's play a quick track shot towards this dude. Not quite able to hit that, sadly. We do have the E50M on the enemy team and the Hori up top. So our Sheridan got dunked on without doing a single shot damage to him, Sag. Alright, enemy E50M is going back to clear our spawn. Uh, we know their 183 is just kind of chilling. Let's wait for the E50M to pull through here. Maybe we can put a shell or two into him. I know he's headed this way. Okay, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want to miss out my opportunity here. Oh, there's the enemy E50M. Let's put one shell into him. Doing typical E50M stuff to a second shell into him. And let's kill him. Oh, no! Scammed! Actually scammed. It went, uh, it went under his tank. What is this? <laughs> nice one. Our 3 bops them. And I think we've been chilling now. There's their 183. Yeah, Bat Chat's fun, dude. I forgot how fast the Bash the on is sometimes. It's just like, it is the most sped tank. I swear. Alright, one shot. 
Enter cup, reload, boost considerable. Two shot, really didn't do much there for me. Oh! <laughs> we are lucky, we are lucky, we are lucky, we are lucky. Hello, 1A3. Hello, welcome to the party. You're gonna get shot again by the 50M, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a fun game. <laughs> Confirmed. HRF is short for his royal fatness. Confirmed. This is the short version. Hacker really F LOL. What an interesting username that was. Oh, Sag, you guys lost. Mind you, I didn't do much. Our uh, 4202 did okay. Their 183s, actually, yeah, it's whatever. I was just kind of a meh situation. I should have tried taking pill in retrospect. Ooh, ooh. You know, guys, you know me. I can't help it. I can't help it. I have a problem. I love the 4005 just way too much. I have to play it. Hi, Fruity. Say something in the chat. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, yes. 4005. You are sublime and you are mine. Let's show people the power of the British FV4005. Also, enemy team, please spot the crossing. It's super important. If you spot the crossing, we're golden. I have nine seconds. Ooh, I'm ready. Oh no, they're going the opposite direction. What? What is this nonsense? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this nonsense? One shot, two shot. Who else got spotted? Sheridan, 704. All right, ooh, ooh, maybe we can shoot the Sheridan if he pulls back. Okay, so they all got a little bit dunked on there. Object 84. I don't, I don't plan on sniping this entire game, but. I have a feeling our 50B is going to spot spot some Pepega Piggies up pretty soon. Come on. Where's the yo? Oh, 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 what is that? Do I have the gun depression? No, I do not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Well, their team is getting ratted on. Very hardcore. Okay, this is cute. Um, I don't think I'm going to get much farm here. Hmm. Their team's already dead. Like, they're, one of their only heavy tanks is already out of the fight. Oh. But wait a second. Please let me perma-track you, buddy. Uh, yes. Yes, will, will, will you poke? Hmm. Might not be necessary. Looks like their whole team's kind of pushing into the corner for now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that 23 in the open? Oh my gosh, this tank doesn't have... This tank's too fat. It doesn't have the acceleration to go up the hill from that single. Oh my gosh, the 23 is going to get annihilated. It's okay. I'll help every 50 in our spawn. Let's go. I'm so used to playing the Leopard with its insane mobility. Okay, there's the 57. Cool. Oh, oh. Oh, someone just done messed up. One track shot. Two shot. Three shot. He's dead. 1500 damage just like that. Dude couldn't do a thing. He was just driving and he just got insta-deleted. I love this tank so much, dude. It's like the most the most punishing tank out there, maybe with, except for the TVP. Because if you make one misplay in front of this tank, you're losing like 1,600 hit points easily. Mind you, it's also the, one of the most delicate tanks out there, so it is balanced in that sense. Okay. Boys, oh, 57 is no longer a fun clip for me, but we still might be able to put some damage into him. Camier, 50. Oh, wait, that's an object 84. You know, I would love to one clip him. But the 57 is more dangerous, so let's go for him. One shot to the 57. Two shots to the 57. Three shots to the 57. That was actually a bit of a low roll clip, because he only had 1600 hit points, and I left him on 120. Let's go. Oi, stop tracking me. Pepega. Do you like just how he's now as good a player at gaming and spawn? He just destroyed me, potato. Fat is if you're lucky you catch TJ in it, he just destroyed you. Oh. Oh, in, in a in a Minotoro. <laughs> I'll just YOLO him in a 4005 and clip him for 1700 and then spam L in chat. That that's that's how you do it, guys. Drop to say hates his life right now, dude. Russian disaster. Anything that meets a full magazine in about six seconds of the 4005 using all of his consumables hates their life. A certain YouTuber said it's not a good tank, but he won't say his name. But we won't say his name. Who said the 4005 is not a good tank? They have to be absolutely off their rocker. I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? I'm not calling whoever said that off their rocker. 
But the 4005 is absolutely insane. <laughs> it's so good. I don't know. Um, so that just happens. I, I have absolutely no clue. Wargaming. Fix your servers! Don't it! <laughs> you know what? I don't mind. I got a free pass. I don't have to play on Dynasty's Pearl on a 405. I see this as a total dub. This is a total dub, okay? I really don't mind. <laughs> I should have just ended the stream right there, to be honest. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> what was that, Wargaming? What was that? The game just decided, nah, no one's playing this battle. Absolutely no one. And it just kicked us all out. Okay, our standard is being a little passive. All right, who am I one clipping? Should it be the Sheridan, the Shkoda, or the Grill? I think it's gonna be the Shkoda. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. We did 1600 damage, but I have no allies for support. This is bad, this is bad. WZ, please don't yell at me. Sheridan, please don't yell at me. I didn't think their whole team was gonna go down low. Okay. Um, beep, beep, beep. Their whole team's here. I never expected that. Like, I expected some of their tanks to go there. I didn't expect all of their TDs to pop up out of Narnia. Okay. I type 71 of those, putting on some good pressure from below. Let's wait for their Sheridan or something to make an overextension. I can't really farm here. If I pull in, I'm dead. So, I guess I just chill here for now. <laughs> Has it happened to you before? Like, one time. It's when the servers just, like, decide to glitch out and you don't get to do any damage. It's a very, it's a very gamer experience, I can tell you that. Alright, Sheridan. One shell to you. Very nice. The Sheridan is is happily accepting his free damage deposit. Another shell to you. Sheridan just waiting for a shot on me, isn't he? Oi, oi, oi. Oh! Get wrecked! So that's what you get, buddy, for, for YOLOing. Very big brain. Okay, 27 are damage dealt. Well, that's a bizarre game if I've ever seen one. Their whole team just straight up yellowed over here. Gang kicks you out, then you pan to your face cam for reaction, then <laughs> back to your garage and play with the stream ends without you saying anything. Honestly, that would have been a hilarious ending to the stream. Maybe I should have done that. Ooh, we're almost at 400 likes, though. This is good news. Okay. Let's get our damage out, boys. Enemy armor is damaged. No way. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I mean, that was to me at Dice's Pro. Dude, that, that, that game was not better. Fast, you just have to get, get a better hack. <laughs> I don't like the map. Yeah, we're not playing it. Um, Okay, 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 okay. All right, we have to do this. It's the last game before we assert our dominance. I think we got 3k out. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Because I lost all my HP at the start. 183. Single game. We're gonna just, we just have to hash someone and then we can call it quits for the night. But it's been a pretty chill night. I think we had a pretty good session, you know? A solid 3,700 in the Leo. Kind of threw at the end, but 40, 40, 42 games in the Leopard is a lot in one go for something that's hard to play. <laughs> HRFOP shooting, my friend. Uh, yeah, dude, that you want a gamer with those shots. Okay. Hello, Fruity Licious. <laughs> Fruits, last minute appearance. Fruits, what's up? All right, boys, let's go. Frontline 183, meme time. Also, so we can be serenaded to the sound of the 183's beautiful sound, uh, gun sounds. I'm gonna turn up that game audio just for this game. Because the 183 does sound really nice, in my opinion. So, let's, uh, let's, let's full send, boys. Full send. Together as one. We will annihilate the enemy team. 57 crossed up safely. Interesting play by the enemy 268. Uh-oh. 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 He done messed up. 
I done messed up. You gotta be kidding me. Their V41 are both just sitting perfectly there. And I roll 1,000 flat with a 1,300. I, I roll like over 300 low with my Hesh there. Bro, all of their TDs are in the quarter. What is this nonsense? Okay, probably should back up a little bit. All right. Well, I got nicked because all of their TDs were there. But it's not the end of the world, at least. V4, well, E100 and V4 is what hit me. And V4 is higher to alpha than E100, so yeah, naturally I lost all my HP there. Let's just do a little bit of, oh, wow, hi. Hi, Super Conk. How's it going? You having fun over here, buddy? Oh, no way I got spotted by this dude. Oi, 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 oi. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yoink. Scammed. Scammed. I got scammed. Wargaming scammed me. I don't know. Dude, Sheridan armor profile is the most ridiculous thing in this game that should never exist. <laughs> There's no way I just ricocheted off of his upper plate like that. Boy, there's Sheridan just tried to shoot at one of us, I think. Super Conk, you're getting in my way, but you're doing nothing to help out here, buddy. Boy, this Super Conk's like the biggest nuisance ever. Okay. Oof. Needs to pay for better RG instead of the paid actor deposit. Dude, RNG has not been my fan this game, dude. I swear. Like we had the uh we had the 1000 roll on the um on the 268 and then the, the bounce off the Sheridan there. Just it just ain't it, Chief. It just ain't it. The RNG deposit definitely needs an increase. Okay, okay, I believe. Okay, you know what? We're gonna shoot AP. Where? It looked like it went straight into his turret. Like, what part of the grill's carcass did that shot even hit? Ooh, 4005 being a little aggro, though. Oh, he has a small liner. You know what? Still worth. Still worth. Okay, AP. I mean, he kind of needs to be killed, so. Boy, don't tell me I got spotted up. Oh, I did get spotted up. You're dead. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, TVP still in Narnia. Sheridan's kind of yellowing. Our mouse is fairly healthy, though, which is good news. I just have to kill the Sheridan for starters. Sheridan has just fired. All right, Sheridan's the one that can yellow me fastest here. So let's aim this one in fully. Enemy vehicle nice. Destroyed. <laughs> Welcome, Turtle Boy, to the Royalty Squad. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Seriously, do appreciate it, good sir. All right, mouse angle up to the 100. You're angling to the wrong target, buddy. Pepega. Pepega, 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 Pepega. All right, watch, we pen those. Ricochet, 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 ricochet. I got 4.3. You know what? It could have been much worse considering that we, we kind of got scammed there. Maybe we shouldn't leave it there. We're almost at 400 likes, anyways. Let's 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 do it again in the 183. I I need I need my RNG to be better than than that game. It it fixed itself at the end, but dude, the start of that game was just unlucky to the f fullest. GG to our leopard. He pulled 4k on that flank. Our 60 TP, our super conqueror, and our mouse. Big no bueno. Those were just kind of chilling there. I think I think the um one of our heavies went AFK and our mouse is just kind of chilling, but uh oh well. For the I was on voice with. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours. Unlucky. The damage fund takes priority, RT. <laughs> Imagine. All right. We got okay damage out, to be fair. Let's go. We just got a little scammed in the process. <laughs> Cut that hair, bruh. Hmm? What, my man bun? You got a problem with it? <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. They do have a lot of strong heavies. Oop, 907 is full sending it. Come on, I just want one, like, really meme game where I hesh people. That game, I didn't really get very many meme hesh shots off, therefore, it was not meme enough. Wow, that shot went high. Look at where that shot hit, all the way on the wall behind him. Well, their 907 was not very bright, was he? He just insta died. R.I.P. to our mans. Um, Super Bonkers over here. Type 71, I7 over there. I don't know if this is going to be the best farming simulator for me, though, if I'm honest with y'all. Let's even cross this right side a little bit. Ooh, you know what? I hate Type 71s. I gotta just spam with Hesh. 
Yeah, take a hundred damage, bro. I assert my dominance. Okay. Um, please don't shoot at me, Grill. That'd be really uncool of you. Okay, the 183 shot her homie over here. I7 just got dunked on over there. Where? That went right into his weak spot, didn't it? Oh my gosh, dude. Type 71 is so rat. Okay. I can't do much. This is not going to be the best farm situation, is it? Something tells me their team's just going to insta-die, and I, I put myself in the wrong position to deal damage to them. The Super Conqueror is already practically dead. We know their 183 is over here on my, on my right somewhere. Let's see if maybe we can catch him off guard. Can't quite spot him yet. Maybe I am full setting it. Maybe we can have this dude. Ooh, 1100. Spicy. Hi, don't shoot at me. Ow, you're so uncool. All right, VK. I'm gonna act like I'm not paying attention to him. Oi, 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 oi. Pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. Come on, come on, don't do it. The owner's not looking. Scammed. Where? No way. That's the flat side of his turret. This cannot be the last game. I refuse to accept this. <laughs> this scab level, the scab level gun gameplay. I swear, the 183 hates me. <laughs> you know they're not a physical. <laughs> oh my gosh, shocky poo, sussy poo. I don't just think about women. LOL. Tanks, yeah, grow up. <laughs> Stop being such a youngin, sir. All right. Silver 81 versus me. Doink. Well, the gun really does hate me, doesn't it? You want just gonna kill him first, I think. Three. It's all over. <laughs> Don't let me distract you from your grind tanks. For your blitz grind, let's go. <laughs> 1700 damage my gosh man this this was one of those games where the 183 was just like nah fam i hate you <laughs> oh man regardless of place all oh, i keep his second line unless i must go first yeah i mean that's the thing about the 183 it's accuracy have you seen it's so dog water that sniping is impractical <laughs> Just to straight, that's the odd-looking Leopard 1. Ah, yes. I played over 40 games in the Leo earlier. If you want to watch earlier in the stream, then you can check out the Hog Leopard 1 gameplay, which was a mixture of great and, and sad. But, uh, yeah. I just saw uh, releasing some steam, you know? Hey, yo, Faz, what color is your mustache? Is your Mustang, huh? Here's the question, Tanks. Who bought that Mustang? That's what really matters. That's what really matters. Alrighty. Um, why is my whole team going that way? You know what? I won't think about it. I'll just accept that it is what it is. Hmm. Nope, I'm spotted already. This is great. Well, if I'm not, I'm gonna get spotted already. Uh, my whole team is nowhere to be found, by the way. This is great. Please get behind the bush in time. Please get behind the bush in time. I have no view range. I am by myself. Help me, team. Help a homie out. Help a homie out. Was it the VK90 that cap? No way. He wouldn't be able to move that fast. There's a 140. There's a 140. There's a 140. There's a 140. Yoink! Yes! Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. No cap, that's what I was talking about. Enemy armor destroyed. Alright, picked up some essential kills for my team. However, I do have a VK90 and MX 50B problem. I do have another 183 coming in for support though, so I don't have to worry too much about it just yet. Oh, that's enemy 183. Oh, of course, dude. 
I'm dead to this 50B. Doesn't matter. At least I'll have some in turn. 1400. Um, out. yeah. Their whole team is YOLOing. Didn't expect that. That's not a, that's not a very good last game. I, mean, I got 3k damage out. And I did pen all my headshots. But I had the waste to kill shot the 140 there. Nice. Into this thing. Very, very interesting. Very, very pog. Okay, let me turn the game audio down real quick. That wasn't good enough. We can't end it there, guys. This is the perpetual state of his royal finest trying to... Um, trying to get we'll one up the game before we end the stream. Hmm. Um, that's a fun tank to play before we end it off. We could play the Conf Panzer, which we already know is, is epic. Uh, TVP, Bachatillon. Oh, I, I need to stream the 4202 sometime. When I get a chance. Hmm. I think. Uh, I love the 205B, but I just streamed it recently. Hopefully. Ooh, Amex 30B. AMX to be no. Gosh, I can't decide what I want to play to leave it off on. Uh, too many, too many tanks pro is a big problem, you know. Only too many tanks, man. Um, let's just do the comp panzer. Actually, the comp panzer sounds like a, a chill last tank. Okay, I I will for the sake of saving my voice before I lose it, I will make this one. Well, I'll probably make this one the last stream, the last game of the stream. So let's make it a good one. Please let me get a, a mega farm fun game to end it off for the night. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. Sorry, I was just trying to keep up with chat. The enemy team have a TVP of Ashantillon, and um. That's about it for their meds and lights. It's me and a couple others, but they aren't coming with. I'm just going to spot up early right off the bat. See if we can get some early information on the enemy team. Ooh, there's the TVP. Very interesting indeed. There's their 183 as well. Also very interesting indeed. Um, and there's their Super Conquer as well. And TVP is a troll, I think. Luckily, the TVP has pretty trashy... Um pretty trashy. Oh, wait. You don't want to take all the shots for the team, buddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why is it that for my last game, I get a player like this as my only ally? What's up, TVP? Yeah, get dunked on by the 50B, buddy. Get dunked on by the 50B. <laughs> At this point, the sooner this dude dies, the less of a problem I have to deal with here. Very nice. All right, I, I think the 183 fired. I don't know. Let's put a quick shot onto them. Well, this game would be better farm if my allies weren't complete Pepega piggies, as that TVP was. Unfortunately, his determination to sit there and block me all game will ended up being his demise. Please don't hit those 268, I believe. Let's go. Uh, as he got absolutely bonkered. Bonkered by uh, by the enemy team there, which I kind of let happen because at that point if he was alive He'd be more of a threat to our game winning there than not especially if he's just sitting there blocking teammates all game Alrighty quick shot to this dude nice little kill looks like some dudes are getting a little over aggressive here Very nice <laughs> TVP report yeah, just your typical just your typical what blitz NA player, you know, oh my gosh Why can't I have been that lucky in my 183 get them epic itchy farms? Hello, boss. I hope you're ready to meet a 3600 DPM medium tank. That's just that has your name written all over it. Boy, 60 TP armor profile go burr. Haha. -ha. But can you pin my turret? That's the question. Oh yeah, pop that tungsten, buddy. Pop those tungsten shells. <laughs> oh 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 oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, let's go. Farm them out. Let's go. Oh, no. I didn't mean you guys farm them out. I meant I wanted to farm them out. But I guess that's good enough for me. There we go. Well, not the most insane last game of the stream, I would say. But I still had a pretty fun time. Honestly, the most amusing part was killing the TVP. Well, I mean, not killing him. Allowing him to die at the hands of my allies because he was... Uh, Going full, full, uh, full blocking mode on me there. All right, let me just get one more shot off, buddy. Let me get one more shot off, and I'll get me the 4K. Let's go. 
Okay, we got just about 4k. I'll take that. <laughs> Raz is gonna be pro full time. Yes, message screen. <laughs> In game hall. Huh? All right, 3,900. He helped me not die because my 60 speed is nothing to I7. All right, so we got Fireball 82827. Eight, not that this does anything, but may as well. Um, he has 4,600 games, a 56% win rate. Dude is statistically not awful. Wait. Oh, I tried to do it by tears. Okay. Statistically not awful. I don't know why he went full full monkey mode there, but um, so is the way So is the way of troll teammates, I guess Yes, this is the way up oh, sadly. We lost this game. I did 3k damage, but my allies were no boy Oh speak of the devil. I saw I talked about this dude earlier All right level 50 mx 50 b player. Oh my goodness 35,000 games in mx 50 b with 48% win rate, something on damage. Remember I said rank doesn't mean anything in this game? Let's see how much damage he did that game. He did just under, he did one magazine of damage. That's, so far it's been his average every time I've seen him. Um, yeah. That's rank in a nutshell. All right. <laughs> Hello, Fatness, can I do more dances for you? Anytime, boss, anytime. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for dropping by today's stream. Here's some Le Bobby if you want to see her. Uh, let's see. Let, like, let's check her sub count. Let's see. I don't I don't expect to have gone up a ton because usually it's a pretty steady progression, but we might have gained a few subs here. La, da, 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 da. We are at 29,737, so we gained about 30 subs during the stream. Very cool. Hopefully... If all goes as planned, if I keep up streaming constantly throughout the upcoming week, my school starts up next week, so obviously I do have commitments. But uh, maybe we can reach 30k before Friday of next week. If that happens, then on Saturday, I'll go for that 10-hour stream. I won't do it on Sunday because I don't want to do it right before I start classes. That, you know, that would be a little bit mentally exhausting, right? So, thank you so much, everyone, for liking the stream. Entering the chat, just being here for the donations, the mods, all you, all your good people. Really do appreciate the support as always. Let's reach that 30k sub mark in the next week. I believe in y'all. Uh, if you have not subscribed, you do enjoy the content, then I don't think I need to tell you what to do. You already know what's up. And so until next time, guys, you have a great rest of your evening, morning, or whatnot. And I will catch you later. Peace.